Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. Sign into the Hyperion at the start, the goddess seeks to team up. Chapter 21. At the moment in the dock square, many alien races gathered here. At this time, Yun Qinghen, who was among the crowd, also changed his face. What happened? How did the Dark Elves' troops appear here? I saw those Dark Elf soldiers holding cutters and violently demolishing the hatches of many ships. What happened here? How did my ship get torn down? Shish, watch out those Dark Elves catch you. These Dark Elves seem to be looking for something. He drove Lousy's ship away. Among the crowd, an alien race stood up. The ship that was just driven away by the Dark Elves was a B-class ship that I had worked so hard to get. The crew members raised their guns and aimed at the Dark Elf captain. Oh, is this your ship? Sorry, this ship has been requisitioned by our Dark Knight Empire. But don't worry, our Dark Knight Empire will give you 10,000 stars as compensation. As soon as these words came out, the alien race directly exploded. 10,000 star coins, how about sending beggars? Fire. The crew of the alien race immediately opened fire, and countless bullets were vented towards the Dark Elf captain. But just as the bullets came to Captain Dark Elf, the bullets hovered directly in the air. An azure magnetic shield appeared in front of everyone. Snapped. The Dark Elf captain snapped his fingers, and the bullets hovering in front of him fell to the ground. Immediately afterwards, the Dark Elf captain made a gesture. Several Dark Elf warriors came to the captain twice. The next second, they picked up the firearms in their hands. Whoosh, 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 several lasers hit the crew directly. Immediately afterwards, the lasers penetrated directly through the body armor of the crew members and then penetrated their bodies. After the laser bullet penetrated the body of the crew, a scarlet hole was burned in the wall directly behind them. Seeing this scene, the surrounding alien races immediately broke out in cold sweat. This equipment gap is really too big. The firearms in the hands of these crew members were fine against ordinary creatures, but in the face of the magnetic shields equipped by the Dark Elves, they turned into a pile of scrap metal. On the contrary, the new laser guns equipped by the Dark Elf troops, just one bullet is enough to penetrate them in the wall behind them. The second round of shooting begins. A large number of sailors fell like reaping wheat. The powerful firepower even spread to the surrounding crowd, and Yun Qinghen hid in the crowd. A laser bullet brushed past her, and she couldn't help but soften her legs. Is this the gap between the Inland Sea troops and them? For a time, the entire square has become purgatory. But in the face of such a scene, the Dark Elf Captain showed a superior smile on his face. I repeat, we represent the Great Empire of the Night. You despicable alien creatures, it is your honor that the ship can be requisitioned by the Great Empire of the Night. Anyone who dares to stop us, those dead ants will be your fate. After all, the Dark Elf Captain also pulled out the laser pistol from his waist. The atmosphere of the surrounding alien races did not dare to breathe. And Yun Qinghen was shivering while hiding among these alien races. At this moment, a soft sound caught everyone's attention. Everyone's eyes were focused on the place where the voice came from, and Yun Qinghen also looked over. When she saw something that made a sound, she couldn't help but widen her eyes. Because it was Su Yan's Hyperion that made the sound. The many dark elves who were preparing to forcibly break the hatch of the Hyperion also looked at each other in dismay. The hatch opened slowly, and when the hatch opened, everyone looked at the hatch of the Hyperion. But the cabin door was empty, so everyone couldn't help but wonder for a while. The dark elf captain also frowned slightly, what's the situation? Afterwards, several dark elf soldiers also glanced at each other. Immediately afterwards, they picked up the laser guns in their hands and aimed at the hatchway. Suddenly, the space distorted. A pilot appeared behind the dark elf soldier. Immediately afterwards, the iron pilot raised his sword and directly executed the dark elf soldier. Before the other dark elf soldiers could react, the pilot grabbed the laser gun in their hands. Whoosh! The laser gun hit a dark elf soldier directly in the head. Powerful laser bullets, even the armor on them cannot easily resist. They never imagined that they would die under the weapons of their own people. Immediately afterwards, another pilot picked up the dead drow warrior's laser gun. At this time, even the dark elf captain found something wrong. Fire! Several dark elf warriors immediately aimed at one of the pilots. 
But then, the iron pilot glanced at them, and then disappeared directly in place. Seeing this scene, several Dark Elf warriors were dumbfounded. These guys actually have stealth methods, and the Dark Elf captain immediately shouted, Equip thermal imaging scanning equipment. Many Dark Elf warriors who heard the command were also equipped with thermal imaging scanning equipment. However, when they turned on the thermal imaging scanning equipment, they could not help but feel a deep despair after seeing the scene in front of them. They have been surrounded by a thousand pilots. A thousand pilots also showed their stature when they saw that they were wearing thermal imaging scanning equipment. When they saw the appearance of a thousand iron pilots, everyone could not help but gasp. What kind of ghost army is this? When in the world did they show up nearby? Seeing such a large number of iron pilots, the dark elf captain's face no longer had the calmness he had before. Fire! What are you still doing? The dark elf captain almost growled and gave the order to fire. Many dark elf warriors reacted from their horror at this time. A large number of laser bullets were released, and at this time, the pilots showed their true terrifying combat power. The holographic image was released, and in an instant, 2,000 iron pilots appeared in everyone's field of vision. The next second, the pilots leapt like superhumans. The jets on the back are enough to allow them to fly around the complex terrain of the dock. The superb evasion skills of these iron pilots make them seem like they are flying in the eyes of everyone. Those dark elf warriors watched the pilots flying between the buildings, and a sense of fear rose in their hearts. Who are these monsters? Asterisk. The surrounding alien races, after seeing the iron pilots who are flying over the eaves. His eyes could not help but look at the boatmen of Vulcan. Could it be that this is a special force trained by Vulcan? Those Vulcan boatmen shook their heads, these flying over the eaves and walls are like superhuman warriors, and they don't look like Vulcans in appearance. And at this time, those dark elf warriors were going crazy. These pilots walk over the walls and use ships and surrounding buildings as shelter. Their bullets simply cannot land on them. Moreover, these guys can actually create holographic projections. Under the interference of these holographic projections, it is difficult for them to distinguish the projection and the body at all. Boom, another shot was fired, and a pilot killed a dark elf warrior with a secondary pistol. After the other dark elf warriors saw this scene, they shot directly at the pilot like a frightened bird. But the next second, that pilot directly drives the phase shifter on the wrist. Brush, the pilot disappeared directly in place, and all the laser bullets fell directly into the air. But then, another pilot broke away from the phase shift. A fragmentation grenade was thrown directly at the center of several dark elf warriors. Boom, the fragmentation grenade exploded directly, and the next second, the pilot disappeared in place. The elusive iron driver made the dark elf captain's scalp tingle. Whose troops are these ghost-like guys? If this continues, my troops will be exhausted by them sooner or later. The dark elf captain watched as the dark elf soldiers fell one after another, and panicked in his heart. But he quickly calmed down and saw him lift the tech watch in his hand. Activate the alloy armor immediately. Support is needed here. I repeat, immediately activate the alloy armor. Not long after, a landing ship in the sky slowly landed. After seeing this landing ship, the dark elf captain's face lit up with joy. Their support is finally here. The next second, the hatch of the landing ship opened, and several heavy armors made of alloys were seen falling from the sky. Boom, the first heavy armor landed, and a huge dent appeared on the metal floor of the dock. Immediately afterwards, other heavy armors also landed. Each heavy armor is equipped with two Gatling guns, and the armor is made of alloy, even the bullets of the new laser guns are difficult to damage it. The heavy armor with a height of 3 meters, every time it appears on the battlefield, it will bring a nightmare experience to the enemy. This is one of the Dark Elf's trump cards, and the Dark Elf captain did not expect that he would actually use this heavy armor. At this time, Su Yan also returned to the dock with Lin Qingyu. When he saw the tragic battlefield in front of him, and the bodies of dark elf warriors scattered on the ground. Su Yan also showed a smile, these iron pilots really did not let him down. Sure enough, these dark elf warriors are not enough to look at in the face of the iron control of the fighting elite. As soon as these words came out, Yun Qinghan, who was not far away, also heard Su Yan's voice. 
Those ghost warriors flying over the eaves and walking the walls like Superman are actually Su Yan's crew. How is Su Yan possible? However, Yun Qinghen thought about it at random, Su Yan already had S-class ships. Is there anything he can't do? But at this moment, Yun Qinghen seemed to think of something, and hurriedly came to Su Yan. Su Yan, those soldiers are your people. Right. Su Yan also directly admitted that after determining the ownership of these soldiers, Yun Qinghen also hurriedly reminded. Hurry up and let your troops withdraw. Those heavy armors are the siege weapons of the Dark Elves. No matter how strong your troops are, they are only mortal. Now it's too late to drive the spaceship back now. At this time, Yun Qinghen was also really thinking about Su Yan. Although I don't know where Su Yan recruited such a terrifying ghost force. But if these ghost troops are damaged here, Su Yan's strength will definitely be greatly reduced. At that time, let alone retreat, it is very likely that life will take place here. After all, those dark elf troops are official troops for real. But Su Yan also smiled faintly after hearing Yun Qinghen's advice. Mecca, my troops also have them. What? Hearing this sentence, Yun Qinghen was also stunned for a moment. Su Yan also has Mecca. Before she could react, the elf heavy armor on the opposite side had already started to attack. Five heavy armor, carrying ten gatling guns. Like a torrential rain of bullets, the bullets were released wildly around. A large number of bullets even landed on a ship, and the ship with slightly less armor turned into fireworks and exploded on the spot. And after those iron pilots saw the heavy armor on the opposite side, they immediately started the phase shift and moved to a safe position. Seeing those iron pilots retreating one after another, the dark elf captain also became arrogant again. Despicable bugs dare to attack the great soldiers of the Dark Knight Empire, it's time for you to taste our wrath. The dark elf captain waved his hand, and mercilessly ordered the heavy armor to destroy all the pilots. But at this time, those iron pilots seemed to have disappeared without a trace. Just when everyone was puzzled, the hatch of the white knight opened. And the dark elf captain discovered that at the moment when the hatch of Bai opened, his sacred artifact detection instrument began to react violently. The relic detection instrument has responded. Then, the dark elf captain's eyes fell on the white knight. The relic is on this ship. But at this moment, a mechanical figure appeared in front of him. This, is this a heavy armor? Brush. Suddenly, a titan appeared in the center of the dock using a phase dash. Immediately afterwards, several titans rushed out of the white knight. The powerful mechanical body, equipped with a large number of heavy weapons, stood in front of the heavy mecha of the Dark Elf with a height of up to three meters. At this time, one of the titans spoke slowly. I'm not called a heavy mecha, we all have a collective name, that is Titan. Brush, the ronin titan rushed up first, and before the Dark Elf's heavy mecha could react, he raised his sword and fell. Boom, the gatling guns on both arms of the heavy mecha were directly cut off by the ronin titan. When the other titans saw this, they quickly followed. The North Star rose into the sky, and the cluster missile directly hit a heavy armor. Compared to the titans, these heavy armors are like toys and fragile. Seeing that one heavy armor after another was destroyed, Yun Qinghen was stunned. Is this the mecha that Su Yan was talking about? Target solved. The Ronin Titan put the blade back on its back. In front of it, the heavy armor of the Dark Elves has turned into a pile of scrap metal. The other titans also divided up all the remaining heavy armor. The combat effectiveness of these heavy armors is far less than that of the titans, and the number of titans is far greater than these heavy armors. Seeing these titans chop up the heavy armor of the dark elves like chopping melons and vegetables. Everyone couldn't help but feel tight, what kind of terrifying mecha is this? You must know that the heavy armor of the dark elves is also a frightening existence on the battlefield. But here, there is no advantage at all. And at this time, a roar sounded. While the titans were dealing with the heavy armor, the dark elf captain also boarded the ship. The dark elf captain sitting in the middle of the ship couldn't help but feel a heartache when he saw that the heavy armor was dismantled into a pile of scrap iron. The cost of these heavy armor is not cheap. After being dismantled into scrap metal, after returning home, he will definitely be punished by the general. However, I still have a chance. As long as I destroy these iron lumps and get the holy relic in that ship, I still have a chance to make up for it. 
Thinking of this, the Dark Elf Captain also waved his hand. Start the tracking missile, aim at those monsters on the ground, and smash them for me. But then, the Dark Elf Captain seemed to think of something, and then added, be careful not to hurt the ships next to you. The Dark Elf warriors who received the order began to operate the ship's panels. The A-class firepower flagship, Night Raid, unfolded the muzzle on the deck, and a batch of missiles released. But at this moment, the Titan Ion rushed out, and the Vortex Shield rose. At this moment, those missiles were actually shrouded in the Vortex Shield, all hovering in the air. The next second, the Titan Ion directly threw those missiles out of the Vortex Shield. Rumbling, the missiles landed directly on the Night Assault's armor, illuminating a burst of fire. Seeing this scene, the Dark Elves were also stunned. What is this operation? The missile on the ship was actually bounced back. The Dark Elf captain punched the gauntlet on the seat. If only these armors were their own. Even the heavy armored armors within the Dark Elf army are not as complete as these armors, and they still possess such powerful combat power. However, Dark Elves cannot operate even if they have Titans. Titans must be piloted by elite human warriors, also known as pilots. Only when the pilot and the Titan combine with each other, can they exert 100% of their combat effectiveness. You, we are A-class firepower ships, smash them to pieces for me. This firepower, are you tickling them? Listening to the roar of the Dark Elf Captain, several Dark Elves operating the firepower system were also embarrassed. They also know that they are fire ships, but once their firepower is fully opened, it is enough to raise the entire dock to the ground. But what they want is still in that cargo ship. Once the firepower is fully on and the sacred relic is destroyed, they will endure more than just a scolding. Thinking of this, several Dark Elves in charge of the firepower system are also hesitant to turn on the firepower. But at this time, they could no longer hesitate. Su Yan has returned to the Hyperion, and now it's his attack round. Seeing the Hyperion lift off, the White Knight also slowly lifted off. After seeing the White Knight lift off, the Dark Elf Captain couldn't sit still. The relic is still in that cargo ship. But at this time, the Hyperion and the White Knight had already reached the position of the atmosphere. The holy relic is in that cargo ship, what are you still doing? Hurry up and catch up. As soon as these words came out, the Dark Elf fleet also attacked the White Knight. At this time, the Hyperion decisively launched an attack. The laser array burst out with amazing firepower. A frigate immediately turned into a gorgeous fireworks and fell into the sky. After feeling the terrifying firepower of the Hyperion, the Dark Elf Captain panicked. The firepower of this S-class ship is so powerful. No, this S-class ship has to be dealt with first. That cargo ship has no means of attack, as long as the S-class ship is dealt with first, the cargo ship loaded with the Holy Relic will naturally be theirs. Thinking of this, the Dark Elf Captain is also commanding the fleet. Turn the direction, adjust the target, and smash that S-class ship first. At this moment, all ships turned their guns to Su Yan's Hyperion. In the next second, numerous missiles and laser cannons attacked Su Yan. This time, after no worries, the firepower ship Night Raid finally exerted its full firepower. The artillery fire hit the Hyperion like a storm. Everyone in the dock couldn't help swallowing when they saw the cannon fire in the sky. If it was them, it is estimated that after this round of bombardment, not even scum will be left. Yun Qinghen was also nervous. Even Su Yan's S-class ships could really survive under such firepower. In the Hyperion, Su Yan looked at the slowly approaching artillery and calmly pressed a button. Space warp begins. Brush. In the next second, something that stunned everyone happened. Su Yan's Hyperion disappeared directly from everyone's sight. Disappeared. The endless artillery fell directly into the air, and the huge waves of flames spread. Even the Dark Elf Captain couldn't help standing up. How is that possible? Where did the others go? But the next second, the radar showed that behind their fleet, a huge figure appeared. The Hyperion did not know when, but actually came behind them. And everyone on the dock was stunned, because they saw the Hyperion appearing like a ghost behind the Dark Elf fleet. Yamato Cannon Ready the Hyperion turned on the Yamato cannon immediately after the space transition. The violent energy is concentrated in the muzzle of the bow. An extremely terrifying coercion began to condense in the sky. Boom! 
I saw a beam of light containing enormous energy, directly penetrating the night raid. The night raid was directly hit hard, but the two frigates ahead of her were not so lucky. The two frigates exploded directly, and the night raid lost its power and fell directly into the dock. How could I be defeated here? The dark elf captain crawled out of the ruins of the ship. But at this time, he looked up at the sky, and a huge fleet was attacking mightily. It's Vulcan's fleet. At this time, someone also saw the logo on the fleet, which was the fleet of Vulcan. When Su Yan saw Vulcan's fleet, he couldn't help frowning. The fleet in front of them has an A-class flagship, three A-class frigates, and ten C-class fire frigates behind it. Such an armed force seems to be the main fleet of Lord Vulcan. Did what happened here catch the attention of the Vulcan Lord after all? I just don't know what the Vulcan Lord's attitude is towards him. If he regarded himself as a hostile state, the Hyperion could easily escape the encirclement, but not necessarily the White Knight. Bai Ying is now stationed on the White Knight, and there are dozens of Titans. Once the White Knight number is lost, it will definitely be a heavy blow for me. Just when Su Yan didn't know whether Lord Vulcan was friend or foe. Rumbling, a series of artillery roars sounded. The Vulcan fleet was decisively fired, and a large number of missile artillery attacked the Dark Elf fleet. A great deal of artillery fire was released on the Dark Elves' ships. Those ships lost command of their flagships, like flies without heads. Faced with a Vulcan fleet far superior to theirs in firepower and numbers, the Dark Elves' fleet was simply powerless to fight back. Boom, 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 one ship after another crashed down. The Dark Elf captain was on the ground, seeing the ships under his command explode one after another, and the anger in his eyes almost burst out. Untouchables of Vulcan, what are you doing? Are you planning to go to war with our Dark Knight Empire? But at this moment, the Dark Elf Captain saw several dark shadows appearing on the ground under his feet. I saw several Titans come to him, and a few iron pilots drilled out of the Titans. Several guns were aimed at him. The threat of death came to mind instantly, and at this moment, the pride and self-esteem of the Dark Elves disappeared. Soon, Many Dark Elves' ships also fell one after another. The Vulcan fleet sent a communication request, expressing a friendly signal to Su Yan. Therefore, Su Yan also relanded the Hyperion and the White Knight in the dock. With the opening of the hatch, Su Yan also stepped out of the Hyperion. The Vulcan Star Fleet's flagship Vulcan also landed in the dock at this moment. Lord Vulcan came out from the Vulcan. He went straight to Su Yan and extended his right hand to Su Yan. Thank you for helping us defeat these thugs, and on behalf of Vulcan, I thank you for your action. Seeing this, Su Yan also stretched out his hand, and the two shook hands. At this time, Su Yan can basically be sure that the target of these Dark Elves is likely to be the core of the Zerg Altar in the White Knight. But at this time, Su Yan couldn't say that these Dark Elf fleets were coming for him. The Vulcan Lord glanced at the heavily damaged dock, and then said to all the alien races present, Everyone, I'm sorry for the unfair treatment you have received. Here, as the Lord of Vulcan, I declare that as long as it is a customer who has suffered losses in this dock, we Vulcan can compensate according to the price. If someone's ship is damaged because of this, we can provide free repair services. At the same time, we will also give each person a certain amount of star compensation. I hope you will support our Vulcan business more. After hearing these words, those alien races who suffered losses immediately became excited. And such a good thing. Su Yan glanced at Lord Vulcan, and it was indeed the best way to handle this matter. It would be a good redemption for Vulcan's reputation if it could make up for the losses of these customers with star coins. For a craftsman planet like Vulcan, the most important thing is reputation and word of mouth. These things are accumulated by Vulcan Star, and if it can be recovered with star coins, this is already the best result. Immediately afterwards, the Lord of Vulcan said to Su Yan, This distinguished guest, in order to thank you for helping us Vulcan, this is a membership card of the Craftsman Association. With the secondary card, you can enjoy a 50% discount on any planetary dock that joins the Artisan Association. In addition, we will maintain your ships and mechas at no cost. I hope you are satisfied. And such a good thing. Lord Vulcan glanced at Su Yan's ship. S-class ships, this human being can own an S-class ship at a young age. And according to the influence transmitted back by the previous boatman, he not only has a 
ghost army, with extremely powerful combat power in his hands. Its ships are also loaded with extremely powerful combat armors, and the combat effectiveness of those combat armors is even more terrifying. All of these are enough to show his strength. With time, he will definitely be able to make a name for himself in the Sea of Stars. Instead of adding icing on the cake at that time, it is better to give help now. Su Yan took the Craftsman Association membership card from Lord Vulcan, don't underestimate the 50% discount. The maintenance cost of a fleet can be saved at least 1 million stars after a 50% discount. This gift is quite expensive. After seeing Su Yan accepting the membership card, Lord Vulcan also looked at the Dark Elf Captain. At this time, the Dark Elf Captain was still stubborn. Despicable Vulcan, how dare you be the enemy of our Dark Knight Empire? Our Dark Knight Empire knows your behavior and will definitely raise your Vulcan to the ground. As soon as these words came out, the Vulcan Lord looked at the Dark Elf Lord, and a trace of killing intent flashed in his eyes. No, how do they know? If you die here too, who can prove that your fleet was destroyed by me? As soon as these words came out, the Dark Elf Captain was also stunned. Lord Vulcan took out a laser gun from his waist and aimed it at Captain Dark Elf. After a gunshot, the Dark Elf Captain also fell to the ground weakly. Afterwards, the Vulcan Lord said lightly, Mut the fleet of these Dark Elves into steel, and throw their corpse capital into the furnace to burn to ashes. Lord Vulcan looked at the other people, he was not afraid that these people would leak the matter here. It is difficult for these alien races to enter the territory of the Dark Elf race. What's more, the Dark Elves are brutal, arrogant, and suspicious. It is estimated that the information will not be delivered by then, and their lives will not be guaranteed. Even if the Dark Elves knew, they would not dare to attack Vulcan in a big way. The Inner Sea has the rules of the Inner Sea, and the Outer Sea also has the rules of the Outer Sea. Now that the situation in the Inner Sea is so tense, he does not believe that the Dark Elves will send a large force to Vulcan. If the Dark Elf dared, he backhanded and joined an alliance. In this case, the Dark Elves can't help him. It's a big deal to lose a little customer source, and the Lord of Vulcan Star has already prepared for his own back way after he made his move. This distinguished guest, go to my Lord's Hall to rest for a while. Also, I have something to tell you. I believe you will be interested in this after you know it. Lord Vulcan is also very enthusiastic about this young man with high potential. Lord Vulcan has seen too many humans rushing to the Sea of Stars. Although the human race has entered the Star Sea not long ago, they are the race with the greatest potential that the Vulcan Lord has ever seen. It was only less than a thousand years after stepping into Xinghai that the Sun Alliance was built, and it also had its own place in Xinghai. Su Yan saw that it would take some time for his ship to be repaired, so he followed Lord Vulcan to the Lord's Hall. I now have a Super Soldier Serum and a Black Panther armor. Even if there is any danger, it has the power to protect itself. I'm going to, I'm going to. As soon as Lin Qingyu heard that Su Yan was going to the Lord's Hall, she followed after him. As for Bai Ying, her identity made it inconvenient for her to show her face. Therefore, Bai Ying also sticks to the White Knight, guarding the core of the Zerg altar from being stolen. Dot dot dot. Coming to the Lord's Hall, Su Yan also saw what is called luxury. The entire body of the Lord's Hall is made of a special alloy. These colored alloys are artistically crafted by the artist. Immediately afterwards, enter the interior of the Lord Halls, the interiors of these Lord Halls are even more brilliant. Unknown luminous minerals make up the crystal chandelier, and the floor is made of jade. Su Yan and Lin Qingyu sat on the sofa in the reception room, and the servants in the Lord's Hall automatically poured twice the mellow blue star coffee for them. And Lin Qingyu took a sip of coffee and said softly, this place is a little more luxurious than my home. Su Yan, you call this luxurious? Before Lin Qingyu could continue to speak, Lord Vulcan came over with an astrolabe. After seeing this astrolabe, Su Yan also glanced at Lord Vulcan with interest. The general astrolabe is a prop that is only used to record the coordinates of a certain sea of stars. There are many unknown ships and unknown planets in the star sea, and the coordinates of these ships and planets are often lost in the form of astrolabes. These coordinates are full of opportunities and dangers, and many interstellar voyagers will also go for a gamble in order to quickly accumulate wealth. The nature of Xinghai coordinates is no different from gambling. 
Lord Lord, what are you doing? Su Yan glanced at the astrolabe. Is the Lord Vulcan planning to let himself explore the coordinates of a certain location? This is a dangerous thing, and if it was really the case, Su Yan would definitely refuse without hesitation. At this time, the Lord of Vulcan also seemed to see the vigilance in Su Yan's eyes. Afterwards, the Vulcan Lord immediately explained. Just a few hours ago, our Vulcan reconnaissance satellite received a series of distress signals from humans. This human was trapped in the shining galaxy's mochi and sent a signal from mochi. As the Lord of Vulcan Star, I can't leave easily, and you just came to Vulcan Star. This astrolabe records the coordinates of the last time he sent a signal. Maybe you can choose to take a look when you pass by the Radiant Galaxy next. Speaking of which, Lord Vulcan also handed the astrolabe to Su Yan. Su Yan took the astrolabe suspiciously, and after opening the astrolabe, his face changed. It is indeed a human distress signal, and the source of the signal is indeed the mock star from the Radiant Galaxy. But the most important thing is that Mo Kexing is a planet with almost zero risk factor. Except for the occasional sandstorms that blow up on Moko, it's almost zero threat. Because it is a desert terrain, even creatures are rare on that planet. Su Yan is very suspicious, how did these guys land on the mock star? After thinking for a while, Su Yan also put up the astrolabe. After all, Su Yan's next destination is Moko in the Radiant Galaxy. He didn't intend to stop at Moko Sing too much, but now he has to. After all, they are from the same clan. Although Su Yan is not a good person, he will not die. Dot dot dot. After dozens of hours of refurbishment, the Hyperion and White Knight were also well maintained and repaired. Moreover, under Su Yan's hard work, he used the wreckage of the Night Raid, he shot down to exchange a lot of resources from the Vulcan Lord. At least for a short time, he can use the Yamato Cannon recklessly again. Sitting on the command seat on the bridge, Su Yan opened the operation panel. The ship slowly left Vulcan's dock, when the fiery red planet turned into a palm-sized planet in his field of vision. Su Yan directly pulled out the operation panel and started to go to the next planet. Target setting. Shining Galaxy Moke Star. Preparing for space transition. Brush. With a flash of light, the Hyperion and White Knight jumped toward the third galaxy, the Radiant Galaxy. In a short time, they arrived near the Shining Galaxy Moko. At the center of the Radiant Galaxy is a star code named, Brilliant, which is nearing the end of its lifespan. Dim stars simply cannot provide enough heat to the surrounding planets. Therefore, the three planets of the Radiance Galaxy are all desolate and inhabited dead planets. Su Yan came to the vicinity of Mokosing and turned on the ship's communication channel. Finally, he received an extremely weak distress signal. Here are, humans, ships, we, need help. This, human Qinghe, our ships are seriously damaged. This, helps, Su Yan frowned slightly, and a storm broke out on the surface of Mokosing. These storms lift up grid on the ground, which contains large amounts of magnetic ore. The chaotic magnetic field generated by the magnetic ore made him unable to hear what the distress signal was expressing at all. The weather, and Su Yan, who was cursing, didn't notice at all. When Lin Qingyu next to her heard the word, Qinghe, she couldn't help frowning slightly. What's wrong? At this time, Su Yan also discovered Lin Qingyu's strangeness. This simple guy often writes his emotions on his face. Su Yan often knows what she is thinking by looking at her expressions. And Lin Qingyu's face rarely showed a touch of sadness, a little homesick. I sneaked out, the second brother doesn't know yet. The second brother is still looking for me. If the elder brother knew that he had lost me, he would definitely scold the second brother to death. Hearing this sentence, Su Yan also smiled. The second brother she mentioned, Moon Lord Lin Xinghe, was issuing bounties everywhere. As long as I can find Lin Qingyu, I am willing to pay a reward of one million stars. However, Lin Xinghe probably never thought that the younger sister Lin Qingyu he was looking for was no longer in the solar system. And Su Yan also said at this time, the Golden Galaxy has the largest star port in the outer sea, and then you can contact your family there and take you back. Hearing this sentence, Lin Qingyu puffed up her face in dissatisfaction. Do you want to throw me down that much? Otherwise, haven't you had enough of me bullying you every day? Having said that, Lin Qingyu glanced at Su Yan. 
Although this bad guy frightened himself every day, he often used his black gold card to buy things. But after this period of interstellar travel, she found that traveling with Su Yan wasn't bad. Although full of danger, as long as he is by Su Yan's side, he always handles things perfectly in unexpected ways. Isn't this kind of safe and exciting interstellar voyage what you are after? Thinking of this, Lin Qingyu also bit the bullet and said, If I leave, who will pay you in the future? Um, when Su Yan heard this sentence, she also looked at Lin Qingyu with a playful look in her eyes, You can keep your money and go back. Hearing this sentence, Lin Qingyu frowned slightly. What he said seemed to make sense. Seeing that Lin Qingyu seemed to be really thinking about what she just said, Su Yan couldn't help laughing. There are still two galaxies away from the Golden Galaxy, you should save it. At this moment, the storm on the surface of Mok also ceased. Su Yan turned on the ship's message receiver again, and began to receive distress messages from the surface of Moko. At this time, he finally determined the specific coordinates. Here is the Sun Alliance human Qinghe fleet. Our ships are seriously damaged. If anyone receives this information, please come to support us, we need help. The Qinghe fleet of the Sun Alliance. After hearing the news, Su Yan looked at Lin Qingyu beside him. At this moment, Lin Qingyu's face was pale, because his elder brother Lin Beihe was the lord of Qinghe Star. Qinghe Xing is a member of the Sun Alliance, which means that the fleet that died is likely to be her eldest brother's fleet. At this time, Su Yan also understood Lin Qingyu's worries. After all, it's about her relatives. I have determined the specific coordinates, and I will be there in five minutes. Don't worry. Su Yan also comforted, Lin Qingyu nodded, but her hands were obviously shaking. Seeing this, Su Yan also started the ship's engine and headed towards the coordinates sent by the rescue signal. The Hyperion arrived at the signal coordinates, and when they arrived at the signal coordinates, their faces sank. I saw a large number of ships falling into the sand dunes, many of which have been swallowed up by the sand dunes. On the outside of these ships, the logo of the Qinghe Star of the Sun Alliance is being painted. This is even more certain, this is the fleet of the Sun Alliance Qinghe Star. That, that's my eldest brother's flagship. After seeing the large A-class flagship Qingyu ship in the center of many ships, Lin Qingyu's tears couldn't stop flowing. At the beginning, the flagship was not called Qingyu, but Qinghe. After Lin Qingyu was born, the elder brother Lin Beihe waved his hand and changed his flagship to Blue Moon. At the beginning, the elder brother Lin Beihe had a quarrel with his father. The Qingyu is a large ship carrying three generations of the Lin family. Although it is an A-class ship, its size is only slightly inferior to that of the Hyperion after the modification. Su Yan, please, go down and have a look. My eldest brother may still be alive. Even if he dies, I will go back with his body. As soon as these words came out, Lin Qingyu almost begged Su Yan. Su Yan did not speak, and directly operated the Hyperion to land on a dune. After the hatch opened, Lin Qingyu rushed out immediately. It was normal, she only dared to get out of the cabin by hiding behind Su Yan's back. Seeing this, Su Yan also waved, and several predator followed directly. Afterwards, Su Yan had the pilot stationed on the ship. As for the White Knight, Su Yan did not let it land. When the Titan is needed, the White Knight can be dropped in the air at any time. Su Yan stepped on the surface of Mokosing, and the system also popped up automatically at this time. Check in location detected. Mok Star. Do you want to sign in? Sign in. Congratulations, you have successfully obtained 100 Viking armors and 100 mechanical priests. After Su Yan saw these rewards, her eyes narrowed slightly. Although the number of rewards this time is small, the victory is excellent. The Viking armor is now ready in the Hyperion. 100 mechanical priests are sleeping in the laboratory of the Hyperion at the moment. The system automatically placed these Vikings and mechanical priests on the Hyperion. However, Su Yan at this time has no time to take care of these Viking fighters and mechanical priests. Su Yan followed Lin Qingyu directly, even though Mok was a planet with almost zero risk factor. But after seeing the tragic state of those ships, Su Yan felt that the planet was not as simple as she imagined. There are hundreds of millions of events happening every day. Perhaps, a mutation that he did not know about had already occurred on this Mok star. 
Under the escort of the predator, Lin Qingyu quickly came to the place where the Qinghe fleet fell. Facing the many crashed ships, Lin Qingyu ran directly towards the flagship of the Qingyu at the center. Su Yan followed behind, looking at these fallen ships, Su Yan's eyes narrowed slightly. Strangely, there is not much damage on the surface of these ships, and it seems that they landed on this planet because of insufficient energy. However, some ships have extrusion marks on the surface, as if they were pulled down by some monster. It seems that something has really changed in Mokixing. After seeing these fallen ships, Su Yan also had a bad premonition in his heart. Su Yan instructs the predator to investigate the surrounding environment, and if there is any change, he must notify himself. Afterwards, Su Yan also walked towards the fallen ship Qingyu. The size of the Qingyu ship is very large, and such a ship is enough for the people on the ship to sail in the Star Sea for a long time. Su Yan walked into the interior of the ship, and Lin Qingyu had disappeared at this moment. Fortunately, there is a predator following her, so she won't be lost. According to the signal guided by the predator, Su Yan came all the way to the bridge. After walking into the bridge, you can see that the bridge is empty. And Lin Qingyu was frantically operating the ship panel, looking for the ship log. Even now Lin Qingyu is very worried about the safety of her eldest brother. But so far, they have not found any dead bodies among the ships. That said, there is a good chance that the crew of this fleet is still alive. At this time, the ship log is particularly important. They can use the log to investigate what happened on the ship. Soon, Lin Qingyu was also the ship log of the investigation department. 6122 Xinghai Era, on May 28, our ship was heading towards Mach. Xinghai Era 6122, June 23, our ship was attacked by Blackstone pirates, these pirates are really haunted. Xinghai Era 6122, June 25, these pirates actually united, our ship couldn't support it, and could only be forced to make a space transition. Xinghai Era 6122, June 26, the good news is that we successfully launched the space jump, the bad news is that our ship's energy system was destroyed and we had to make a forced landing. In 6122 of the Xinghai Era, on July 1st, we successfully reached the Mok planet. We will recover the losses caused by those space pirates one day sooner or later. At this point, the ship's log stopped abruptly. That is to say, the day the ship arrived at Mokosing, it encountered an accident. Originally, the damage to the ships was very serious, and with the influence of unknown factors on the Mok planet, these ships became what they are now. But what did they encounter? There are dozens of ships here, and the crew alone has as many as tens of thousands of people. It is impossible for tens of thousands of people to disappear on this planet out of thin air. The distress signal is still running, which shows that he still has the power to send a signal before he encounters danger. Lin Qingyu bit her lip lightly, and her heart was also extremely tormented. In the family, the two older brothers are the people who love her the most. In order to prevent her from getting involved in the dangerous Xinghai, the elder brother Lin Beihe often went out to fight, and every time he came back, he basically suffered more injuries. The second elder brother Lin Xinghe, as the Moon Lord, communicated back and forth between the Lin family and the Sun Alliance. In order not to make Lin Qingyu suffer, the two brothers used their shoulders to support the entire Lin family. It is because of this that Lin Qingyu can be so innocent. But now, Lin Qingyu looked at the ship log and saw that something happened to her eldest brother, but she couldn't do anything here. Just then, a message popped up from Su Yan's tech watch. Predator, report to the captain, we found that a large biological source is approaching, please return to the ship quickly. Large biological source, Su Yan frowned, then directly pulled Lin Qingyu and rushed out of the ship. Since the predator has informed him, this creature must be huge. You must quickly return to the ship. In the interstellar voyage, if you encounter any danger, it is right to run to the ship. Rumbling. Just as they stepped into the blue moon, the entire desert began to tremble. Su Yan felt as if some behemoth was rushing out of the ground. After feeling the danger, Su Yan decisively opened the Black Panther armor. The strength and speed increased greatly, and then Su Yan picked up Lin Qingyu and jumped up. Wow! A sharp tooth protruded from the ground, and Su Yan quickly returned to the Hyperion without looking back. 
the Hyperion rose into the air, and all the predators also returned to the ship. When the Hyperion slowly lifted off, Su Yan finally saw what the so-called giant creature was. A sandworm opened its bloody mouth and swallowed a ship. Tens of thousands of sharp teeth are entrenched in its mouth like serrations. This abyss mouth is more than several hundred meters in diameter, and it can easily swallow a frigate. Seeing such a huge sandworm, even Su Yan's eyes flashed with surprise. When will there be such terrifying creatures on the Moko planet? Could the disappearance of the Qinghai fleet have something to do with this giant sandworm? Rumbling. After the giant sandworm devoured a ship, it also retracted to the ground again. Its huge body is like a giant subway, moving in the underground of Mok. Su Yan frowned slightly and decisively activated the ship's scanning function. Maybe track down this sandworm and find those missing crew members. This sandworm is definitely not the aborigines of Mokixing. Such a huge body will have to evolve for at least 10,000 years before it is possible to give birth to this giant beast. Prior to this, Mok had been rated as one of the safe planets. Not right, the Hyperion followed the sandworm. Not long after, the Hyperion saw a huge pyramid slowly rising on the horizon. Pyramid, how could such a structure exist on the surface of Mokos? However, what shocked Su Yan even more is yet to come. The detection radar of the Hyperion shows that there is more than one giant sandworm at work beneath this massive pyramid. Several sandworms came from all directions, and they had only one destination, and that was the pyramid in front of them. Also, a few sandworms started from the bottom of the pyramid and ran in other directions. What the hell is this pyramid? The giant sandworms in front of them are like hard-working ants, transporting their spoils into this pyramid. While Su Yan was still in a state of doubt, the Hyperion issued a warning. Warning, the ship has been locked. I saw dozens of cannons rise on the surface of the pyramid on the opposite side. After seeing these forts, Su Yan's eyes flashed with surprise. Sure enough, these giant sandworms are artificial products. But at this time, the fort on the pyramid has launched an attack. A large amount of artillery fire was ejected from the fort, and it landed on the Hyperion. For a time, artillery fire continued. However, these artillery fires were all resisted by the defense matrix of the Hyperion. Inside the pyramid, several dark elves stared at the monitoring screen. After seeing the astonishing defense of the Hyperion, those dark elves could not help frowning. Doctor, our artillery can't penetrate the target's armor at all. Hearing this sentence, a dark elf wearing a white coat squinted at the Hyperion in the surveillance screen. After seeing the astonishing defensive power of the Hyperion, the Dark Elf also frowned slightly. How could an S-class ship land on this planet? Put those cannons away, those cannons are of no use to it at all. Contact the Mother Nest and let those giant sandworms resist this ship. The Dark Elf in the white coat narrowed his eyes. He didn't expect their laboratory to be discovered so quickly. However, the final experiment is about to be completed. At that time, as long as the important information is transferred away, the laboratory will just dig out the Alliance personnel. Seeing that the artillery fire was useless for the Hyperion, the artillery operators in the pyramid also put away the artillery facilities. Seeing this, Su Yan was even more certain that this pyramid must be a man-made building. But at this moment, a change appeared on Su Yan's radar. Rumbling, the familiar sound reappeared. The Hyperion's radar showed that several sandworms were rushing out of the ground. Seeing this, Su Yan decisively let the Hyperion lift off. But the next second, these sandworms rushed out of the ground. The huge figure carried the abyss mouth and attacked the Hyperion. Su Yan looked indifferent and pressed the button directly. Space jump, whoosh, the Hyperion disappeared directly in place, and the sandworm, which was ready to go, flew into the air. But then, the Hyperion appeared 10,000 meters above the sky. Su Yan looked at the giant sandworms on the ground, like a huge wave surrounding the pyramid, and couldn't help frowning slightly. It seems that the guys in the pyramid do not want them to be close to the pyramid. I want to see what the hell is in your pyramid. Activate the fusion warhead. Su Yan pressed the attack button directly. The Hyperion began to lift off slowly and above the high-altitude orbit, the Hyperion began to aim at the giant sandworms around the pyramid. Whoosh! The first fusion warhead was launched. Immediately afterwards, the fusion warhead flew towards the giant sandworm. 
When the giant sandworm on the opposite side saw the flying object, the first reaction was to rush over and swallow the fusion warhead directly. But in the next second, the fusion warhead exploded inside the giant sandworm. Boom! A huge mushroom cloud exploded from the sandworm's body, and the giant sandworm that swallowed the fusion warhead instantly turned into fragments. And the few sandworms next did were also hit a lot. A large amount of dust was thrown up, and the entire pyramid began to shake. Seeing the surveillance footage, the giant sandworm was directly blown into pieces, and several dark elves couldn't help but break out in cold sweat. If they read correctly, that missile is a tactical nuclear weapon. What is the origin of this ship? The defense can be called a fortress, and there is even an attack method such as tactical nuclear weapons. Even the dark elf in the white coat felt tight at the moment. This guy's backing is a bit tough. Boom. The next second, a huge noise hit. The entire laboratory roared, and the second fission warhead was fired. For a time, two huge deep pits appeared in the desert around the pyramid. The two fission warheads were carefully calculated to avoid the pyramid perfectly. But the surrounding sandworms are not so lucky, and the unlucky ones are directly blown into pieces, and there is no whole body. Is the attack over? Do not. Activating Viking Fighter. A large number of Viking fighters flew out from the interior of the Hyperion, and the Viking fighters with powerful firepower began to destroy the turrets around the pyramid. I saw that the Viking fighters fired a large number of missiles, and these missiles landed on the turrets with precision. With the deafening bombing sound, one fort after another was destroyed. In the pyramid, alarm bells are ringing. Seeing that one fort after another was paralyzed, the expressions of many dark elves also changed. The dark elf in the white coat frowned even more. The firepower of these fighters is too strong, and the firepower of our laboratory is simply not enough to compete with them. Just then, the last battery was destroyed. A dark elf also had a panicked expression on his face. Doctor, our battery has all been destroyed. Hearing this sentence, the dark elf in the white coat also said coldly, you don't need to say it, I'm not blind. It's too late to transfer the things in the laboratory here. This ship is obviously aimed at us. Prepare to release those Zerg warriors, never let them get close to the laboratory. You guys, transfer the data with me, these Zerg research data must not fall into the hands of the Alliance. After all, the Dark Elf in the White Coat also quickly left the command center. Several other Dark Elves followed immediately. In the current Pyramid Prison, thousands of human crew members are held here like livestock. One of the crew members felt the vibration of the pyramid, and there was a hint of hope on his face. Captain, it seems that someone is attacking the pyramid, we are saved. What are you happy about? If those guys outside destroy the pyramid, we have to be buried alive. It is estimated that it is a ship sent by the Alliance. They are afraid that they will raise this place to the ground. We can't escape, and we can't do anything. Several crew members sighed, compared to the ground raid. Air fleet bombing is undoubtedly the most effective means. During this time, they also understood what the hell these dark elves were doing. If the fleets outside knew what this dark elf laboratory was doing, they would definitely bomb it without hesitation. Thinking of this, the eyes of many crew members also lost their light. One of the crew members scolded angrily. Damn it, just die, it's better than being captured and transformed into an inhuman monster. In the corner of the prison, Lin Beihei took out a photo from his arms. It was Lin Qingyu in the photo. Looking at the relatives in the photo, Lin Beihei also sighed deeply. After a round of bombing, all the forts of the pyramid were destroyed. The traces of artillery fire on the pyramid, as well as the huge craters around it, are enough to illustrate the formidable firepower of the Hyperion. Su Yan drove the Hyperion ship close to the pyramid. But this time the pyramid did not have any countermeasures. Seeing this, Su Yan also directly commanded the Predator and the pilot to land at the same time. 500 iron warriors and 500 iron pilots entered the interior of the pyramid respectively. On the other hand, Su Yan did not leave the Hyperion ship. Through the equipment on the Predator and the pilot, he was able to see the inside of the pyramid on the ship. After confirming that there is an unknown enemy in this pyramid, wouldn't it give the enemy a chance to capture the thief and the king first? Through the equipment on the Predator and the pilot, Su Yan also saw clearly the inner structure of the pyramid. Entering the interior of the pyramid from the gate, 
the walls inside the pyramid are all made of steel. The inside of the pyramid is full of traces of technology. This made Su Yan even more certain that in this pyramid, there must be troops of other races here to study unspeakable things. Moreover, those giant sandworms outside are obviously controlled by the insiders of this pyramid. Maybe the surviving crew members of the Qinghe fleet were also caught here by them. Among those ships, he did not find the bodies of any crew members. Then there is only one possibility, that they were taken away. And the pyramid in front of them is likely to be where they were imprisoned. This is also the reason why Su Yan chose to infiltrate, rather than direct orbital bombardment with fusion warheads. The predators and pilots soon infiltrated the interior of the pyramid. With the continuous deepening, Su Yan also frowned slightly. Signs of the Dark Elves. This is actually the laboratory of the Dark Elves. They set up such a laboratory on this planet that doesn't poop, are they going to do some shameful deeds? Su Yan saw the Dark Elf logo printed on some instruments, and immediately understood who the owner of this laboratory was. Not long after, a pilot sent a message. Pilot, report to the captain, found a prison containing thousands of human beings, do you want to rescue it? Thousands of humans. After seeing the news, Su Yan's eyes also brightened. When he switched on the pilot's helmet, thousands of uniformed human crew members appeared in his field of vision. And when Lin Qingyu saw the human crew on the screen, she immediately recognized it. These people are the crew of the Qinghe fleet. At this moment, Lin Qingyu also saw Lin Beihe in the corner at a glance. The moment she saw Lin Beihe, the big stone in Lin Qingyu's heart also fell to the ground. Her tense nerves were completely relaxed at this moment. Seeing this, Su Yan also smiled slightly, notify the other soldiers that these crew members must be escorted out safely. Receive. The iron pilot looked at the prison in front of him, and then drew the pulse knife from behind. The pulse knife was directly inserted into the ground by the pilot, and the pulse knife was triggered, and the surrounding enemies instantly appeared on the screen of the pilot's helmet. The next second, the iron pilot pulled out his pistol and released a holographic phantom. Dot dot dot. At this time, several dark elf warriors were also human crew members guarding the prison with firearms. I don't know what's going on outside. What happens has nothing to do with us, just stand on our post. I really don't know what to do with these human monkeys, just kill them all. One of the Dark Elf warriors looked at the crew of the same Qinghe fleet, and his eyes were full of contempt and disdain. And another Dark Elf warrior yawned. These are precious experimental materials for the doctor, and it's not your turn to deal with them. As soon as the voice fell, a laser bullet directly penetrated the head of the Dark Elf Warrior. The other Dark Elf Warriors suddenly became alert. The next second, the pilot appeared on the ceiling, and the laser pistol in his hand aimed at a Dark Elf Warrior without hesitation. Boom, a gunshot rang out, and the Dark Elf Warrior fell to the ground. The other Dark Elf Warriors immediately aimed at the pilot, but the pilot was unafraid of the multitude of muzzles. Hum. The A barrier appeared in front of him, and a large number of bullets were released on the A barrier, causing no damage to the pilot. And the pilot took out a stimulant from the backpack at his waist. The stimulant potion was injected into the body, and at this moment, the speed of the iron driver was greatly increased. I saw the iron pilot flying over the eaves and walking the wall, and in the small space, the iron pilot jumped up and down like a superman. What the hell is this, I can't aim at all. Be careful he's here. Save me, save me. The elusive iron pilot easily killed half of the guards. The other guards couldn't help but feel a chill behind their backs when they saw Tai use powerful combat power. In the prison, all the crew of the Qinghe fleet gathered at the door of the prison. Seeing that Tai Yu almost crushed those dark elf warriors to death, even Lin Beihe couldn't help but take a deep breath. Whose subordinate is this, so fierce? In less than a moment, the pilots had killed all the Dark Elf warriors. At this time, other predators and pilots arrived one after another. A predator popped out the wrist blade in his hand, and with three strokes and two strokes, directly cut open the door of the prison in front of him. Seeing that the prison door was broken open, the crew of the Qinghe fleet still couldn't believe it. Are they saved? They were already ready to die. After all, let alone someone coming to this planet that doesn't poop, even if someone comes, it may not necessarily come to rescue them in a deep and dangerous way. 
But now, the appearance of these fully armed soldiers is like a divine soldier. Lin Beihei also stepped forward. Thank you for saving us, I would like to express my gratitude to you on behalf of Qinghe Star. I don't know, this warrior belongs to which fleet. Afterwards, as the Lord of Qinghe Star, I will definitely repay you well. With such a powerful warrior, only one person can crush several dark elf warriors. Could it be the army of a big man in the inner sea? The Iron Driver responded indifferently. We are a unit belonging to Lord Su Yan, and it is Lord Su Yan's order to rescue you. Su Yan, after traveling through Xinghai for so many years, why have you never heard of this person's name? Su Yan, I have written down this name, and I will definitely repay my life-saving grace when I return to Qinghe Star. Although it is not clear who this person called, Su Yan, is, who is holy. But the strength of these troops alone is enough to show the strength of this person. Whether it is these iron pilots or the predator, they are enough to take out the position of captain in his planetary army. The combat power of every predator and iron pilot can be called the elite among the elites. At this moment, one of the predator looked towards the exit. A creature is approaching. As soon as these words came out, thousands of crew members were also nervous. They are unarmed now, and if they fight for a while, they will have nothing to fight back. Two predators stood at the door, locking the metal gate with their backhands. In this case, you can also buy them some time to make tactical arrangements. The remaining predators are also protecting the safety of the crew of the Qinghe fleet. It seems that if you want to take these crew members to escape this pyramid, you will inevitably have to fight. The predators and pilots are also ready to fight. Boom! Suddenly, there was a loud bang. A huge bump appeared on the metal gate. After all the crew members of the Qinghe fleet saw this bulge, their hearts tightened. This metal gate is made of 10cm steel. What kind of power can actually leave traces on this metal gate? After seeing this trace, the two predator also glanced at each other. It is now certain that the enemy behind the door is definitely not a dark elf warrior. The strength of those dark elf warriors is not enough to leave such a clear trace on this gate. Brush. Suddenly, a sharp blade pierced through the metal gate. After everyone saw this sharp blade, they could not help but frown slightly. Immediately afterwards, the sharp blade was slowly drawn out. Boom. The next second, in the gap opened by the sharp blade, a pair of sharp claws ripped open the metal gate directly from the middle. Hiss. An alien with a human body and a zerg head sticks out a slender tongue. When the crew of the Qinghe fleet saw the terrifying appearance of this monster, their legs suddenly went soft. What kind of monster is this? Lin Beihei also felt a chill behind his back. He had been sailing in Xinghai for so many years. Never seen such a bizarre creature, it seems to be a combination of human and bug. Sharp claws and metal blades growing on both arms make it even more awesome. What kind of monster is this Timo? I have been in the Sea of Stars for so many years, and I have never seen such a strange creature. Are those dark elves crazy? Researched such a monster. This is even scarier than the last monster we saw. Roar. Before he finished speaking, the Zerg alien suddenly erupted. The powerful force combined with the sharp claws directly shredded the metal iron gate. The next second, the Zerg alien rushed into the prison. But then, the predator, who had been waiting for a long time, attacked brazenly. The two blades exuding cold light fell directly. Puff! The Zerg alien was directly stabbed by the two ribs, and the two predator mercilessly waved their wrist blades. Brush! That Zerg alien was directly divided into two by two predator. The blood of the Zerg alien was scattered on the ground, which was extremely frightening. This scene not only frightened the crew of the Qinghe fleet, but also stunned the dark elf warriors behind the door. That is a Zerg alien that can tear the iron door by hand, so it was solved like this. Two predators stood at the door, majestic and awe-inspiring like door gods. The two of them raised the wrist blades in their hands and slowly wiped off the Zerg blood on them. This time, the dark elf warrior on the opposite side was also afraid. Even that monster can't deal with these guys, can the dark elf warriors alone really stop them? But at this time, even if they regret it, it is too late. The iron pilot had already come to them through the stealth device. Boom, 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 a series of gunshots rang out, and the battle officially started. Pilots hide around like ghosts, constantly reaping the lives of dark elf warriors. 
The predator confronted the enemy head-on, and the wrist blade in his hand directly turned into the sharpest weapon. Hum. The pulse knife was thrown at the intersection by a pilot. The next second, the dark elf warrior who was about to come over revealed his figure. The predator came to the intersection first, before waiting for the dark elf warriors to react. Several predators rushed out from the corner, killing all the dark elf fighters with lightning speed. At this time, the crew of the Qinghe fleet behind them also picked up the weapons of the Dark Elf warriors who were killed and joined the battle. For a time, gunfire erupted, and the entire laboratory fell into chaos. Seeing the surveillance footage, many Dark Elf warriors were killed, and the Dark Elf in the white coat in the command center also flashed a stern look. Release all those Zerg soldiers. But doctor, those Zerg soldiers haven't been domesticated yet. Do as I say. Almost roaring. Dr. Dark Elf let out a roar. The Dark Elf shrugged, and then pressed a button. For a time, the entire laboratory issued a harsh warning sound. Attention, Zerg soldiers are being released. Attention, Zerg soldiers are being released. Attention, Zerg soldiers are being released. Hiss. A large number of Zerg soldiers ran out of the laboratory. They are constructed from alien races and Zerg genes, and have extremely powerful strength and endurance. But the first time these Zerg soldiers appeared, was to kill all the surrounding Dark Elves. The Zerg soldiers who have not been domesticated have only the purest killing intent in their minds. At this time, the Predator also encountered another batch of Zerg soldiers. A large number of Zerg soldiers attacked one after another. These laser guns can't hurt them at all. What the hell are these creatures? I suspect that these are the things that the Dark Elves bred using the genes of the Zerg and other races. Zerg, are the Dark Elves crazy? That thing is simply uncontrollable. Fortunately we ran out, otherwise we would have to become the thing. Lin Beihei's expression was solemn, and now they could only pin their hopes on these predator. At present, it is relatively easy for these predator to deal with these Zerg soldiers. And at this time, they also saw the light of the exit. Is the export, going out now? As long as you go out, everything is fine. At this moment, Lin Beihei seemed to see the dawn of hope. Chapter 31 Boom! With a loud bang, a huge body broke through the ceiling and fell in front of everyone. The originally wide exit, at this moment, was directly shrouded in this huge figure. After seeing the monster in front of him, all hearts could not help but sank slightly. I saw a huge insectoid like a centipede appearing in front of them. There are nearly a thousand feet each of which is like a spear, piercing deeply into the ground. At the position of its head, a pair of scarlet eyes stared at everyone. After seeing this huge zerg, Lin Beihei's face suddenly turned pale, his face was ashen. Ruined. This zerg directly blocked the channel. If they want to escape, they can't get around this guy at all. But this guy is obviously completely different from those zerg soldiers. Whether in terms of size or breath, the breath it exudes is far better than those of the Zerg soldiers. Roar. The millipede let out a roar, and the roar containing the sound wave directly penetrated the entire passage. At this moment, the fear in everyone's heart could not help but be hooked out. Immediately, someone's legs went weak and he slumped on the ground. It's over. We have no way to escape. Those lunatics of the Dark Elves, how could they create such monsters? My daughter is waiting for me to go back with a present. I didn't expect to die here in the end. Everyone fell into deep despair. The millipedes began to approach them, as if each movement of the long legs of a spear would leave a deep mark on the metal ground. The tough shell moved through the narrow passage, rubbing against the metal, creating a series of sparks. But at this moment, a voice came from the helmet of the iron driver. Don't worry, everyone, when you get here, you will succeed. This voice was made by Su Yan who was seated in the Hyperion. Everyone couldn't help but look at the iron pilot. And the iron pilot also replied, the captain has already arranged support. Now, support should be coming soon. As soon as the words fell, everyone could not help but look at the millipede in front of them. The huge body of the millipede seemed to be lifted by something. In an instant, an extremely huge psychic power burst out. Lin Beihei's eyes widened, he had seen shinicists and felt the breath of psionic energy. However, he has never felt such a huge psionic energy. This psychic power seems to let him see the sea with turbulent waves, a violent and turbulent power. 
What a powerful spiritual power, such a strong person would actually appear in the outer sea. Rumbling. The millipedes seemed to feel life-threatening, and thousands of long legs penetrated deeply into the surrounding channel structure. But in the next second, the iron sheet of the entire passage was lifted up. Roar. The millipede let out a roar, but this roar was filled with fear. In the desert, Bai Ying opened her hands, and violent psionic power burst out from her body. Unforgivable. Zerg, must be annihilated. Su Yan, who was sitting on the Hyperion, couldn't help but sigh when he saw that Bai Ying had dragged the millipede out using his psychic energy. Psychers are really scary. Powerful shinists, their strength is even more terrifying. I saw Bai Ying open his hands, and the violent psionic energy acted on the millipede. Such a behemoth, under the control of her psionic power, is as fragile as a toy. At this time, Lin Beihei just came out. Next, he saw a scene that he will never forget. Under the action of terrifying spiritual energy, the millipede was directly twisted into a twist, and countless blood fell into the yellow sand like a torrential rain. This time, it scared everyone. What happened in front of me was a horror movie. At this time, Bai Ying looked at the same crew members. Please also board the ship quickly, our captain has been waiting for a long time. The voice without the slightest emotion fell in the ears of the many crew members like a murmur of death. Everyone dare not be slighted. At this time, the huge Hyperion also fell to the ground. Su Yan walked out of the Hyperion, and Lin Beihei couldn't help being surprised when he saw Su Yan. So young, or a human, he did not expect to have such powerful soldiers as the Predator and the Iron Pilot, and a powerful Shinicist as a crew. Such a captain, at least he is also a prominent figure in the local Xinghai. But they didn't expect that the captain in their mouths was so young. Before Lin Beihei could react, a sharp and harsh scream came from behind. A large number of Zerg soldiers poured out from the pyramid. There are still so many Zerg soldiers. Seeing this scene, Lin Beihei couldn't help but turn pale. How many such monsters did the Dark Elves create? Captain Su Yan, let's get on the ship. These Zerg soldiers are numerous and extremely difficult to deal with. Although your Shinicists are powerful, in the face of such a large number of Zerg soldiers, it is difficult for even Shinicists to clear these Zerg soldiers. Before Lin Beihei could finish speaking, Su Yan patted him on the shoulder. Don't worry, leave it to me next. I saw Su Yan raised his hand, and there was a roar in the sky. In the next second, 100 Viking fighters dropped from the sky and changed to ground mode. 200 Gatling guns aimed at the Zerg in front of him, Su Yan waved his hand, fire. Da da da, 200 Gatling guns began to unleash endless rage. Countless bullets attacked those Zerg soldiers like a torrential rain. After seeing such terrifying firepower, Lin Beihei's eyes widened. What is fire suppression? This is fire suppression. In the midst of the artillery fire, the Zerg soldiers were directly strangled into flesh by endless bullets as soon as they entered the range. Su Yan said to Lin Beihei, it's time to board the ship. Everyone has not yet recovered from such a violent fire. When Su Yan spoke, they also reacted. After everyone boarded the ship, the Hyperion also took off into the air. Sitting in the middle of the bridge, Su Yan looked at the many Viking fighters on the ground, venting endless artillery fire. All Vikings evacuated from the battlefield. Viking fighter. Received. In the next second, the Viking fighters turned into flying states, as if the Transformers had left the battlefield and returned to the Hyperion. Immediately afterwards, Su Yan opened the control panel of the Hyperion. Start the orbital bombardment. Under the operation of Su Yan, the Hyperion began to lift off slowly. At this time, Lin Beihei and other crew members were sitting on the ground. Several crew members were also talking about Su Yan's ship, which was slightly larger than their flagship. But the layout and decoration inside the ship made them a little surprised. There are entertainment facilities on this ship. Bar, this is too much to enjoy life. Shish, be quiet, this is not the interior of the Qingyu. Lin Beihei was also standing in the corridor, looking at the slowly rising scenery outside the window, and was full of emotion. He thought he was going to die, but he didn't expect to survive. It's really unpredictable. Big brother. At this moment, a familiar voice entered Lin Beihei's ears. After Lin Beihei heard the voice, he was stunned for a moment. Moon, what happened? Did he miss her so much that he had hallucinations? 
but at this moment, Lin Beihei saw a familiar figure out of the corner of his eyes. When he turned around, he saw Lin Qingyu rushing into his arms like a milk swallow returning to her nest. Yuei, why are you here? Lin Beihei felt like he was dreaming. How could he actually meet his sister Lin Qingyu here? Shouldn't she be on the moon of the solar system now? For a time, Lin Beihei felt an unrealistic dreaminess. And Lin Qingyu also rubbed the tears from her eyes, and then said with a smug look, I'm a crew member of the Hyperion. It turns out the ship is called the Hyperion, wait, that's not the problem. Didn't I ask that kid Lin Xinghe to arrange for you to go to the moon fleet? Lin Xinghe didn't take what I said to heart. How dangerous is interstellar travel, doesn't that kid know? The crew next to him also shook their heads when they saw their captain like this. The captain himself is fine everywhere, but when he mentions his sister, he will turn into a nagging mother. At this time, Lin Qingyu also said stubbornly, Don't talk about second brother, I sneaked out by myself. Sneak out, what if you were in danger? Do you know how dangerous interstellar travel is? Lin Beihei also looked anxious. What he feared most was that sooner or later his sister would encounter the same situation as himself. At this time, Su Yan's figure sounded from the side. Lord Lin Beihei, you don't have to worry. As my crew member, Lin Qingyu has provided me with a lot of help during the interstellar voyage. Also, you have seen my strength. She will not suffer any grievances on my ship. Seeing Su Yan coming, Lin Qingyu also habitually hid behind Su Yan. When he saw Lin Qingyu hiding behind Su Yan, Lin Beihei felt that the jade carving cabbage that he had raised for many years had been taken away. But after taking a look at Lin Qingyu's firm eyes and Su Yan's powerful strength, Lin Beihei also sighed. From the strength Su Yan has shown so far, Lin Qingyu may be safe to stay with him. After all, his fleet was severely damaged, and he would not be able to return to the territory for a while. It would be better to let Lin Qingyu stay with Su Yan first. Thinking of this, Lin Beihei also felt helpless. Since that's the case, Big Brother doesn't stop you. You are indeed more promising than in the Moon Fleet. After seeing Su Yan's powerful strength, Lin Beihei also understood. With Su Yan's current potential, sooner or later, he will become a legend in the Sea of Stars. And after his sister becomes his crew member, he may also become famous in the future. Ding, do you accept Lin Qingyu as your crew member? Um, Su Yan didn't expect that the system prompt popped up at this time. Agree, name, Lin Qingyu, race, human, psionic value, 100 one hundredths. Strength, 10. Physique, 10. Mental power, 20. Talent. Wealth is more money. When you spend a certain amount of money, there is a certain chance to increase the fortune of the people around you. The more you spend, the higher the chance of increasing your fortune. Knowledge scholar. I never forget reading books. It has an extremely powerful knowledge reserve, just like a humanoid database. Loyalty, 100. Love. Um. When Su Yan saw the last bit of loyalty, she couldn't help but be stunned. Bai Ying's loyalty 100 shows Dai loyalty, but Lin Qingyu's loyalty 100 shows admiration. Seeing this, Su Yan also looked at Lin Qingyu behind him. And Lin Qingyu smiled naively, as if she was glad that she could finally become Su Yan's official crew. Just when Su Yan was about to ask Lin Qingyu, Lin Beihei next to him spoke directly. Captain Su Yan, can I ask you one thing next? Seeing Lin Beihei's serious face, Su Yan also nodded. You said, as long as I can help you, I will try my best. If this is the case, these dark elves can create so many Zerg soldiers, there must be a Zerg mother nest under this pyramid. So, I thought, can you go to the solar system and notify the members of the Sun Alliance there? Once the Zerg disaster makes a comeback, it will sweep the entire Star Sea, and the Sun Alliance must be notified to send a fleet to destroy this laboratory. After hearing this, Su Yan raised his hand. You don't have to worry about this, I have already started. Um, hearing this sentence, Lin Beihei was stunned for a moment. Immediately afterwards, a bright light rose outside the window. It was followed by a roar, and everyone heard the sound and couldn't help but look outside through the window. Next, they saw a large number of fusion warheads falling. Boom, a fusion warhead exploded, and the entire pyramid laboratory was instantly swallowed by flames. The next second, another fusion warhead fell. Rumbling. 
Above the earth, mushroom clouds rose one after another. The violent flame devoured the pyramid laboratory directly, and the original appearance could hardly be seen. Lin Beihei's eyes widened, nuclear, nuclear weapons. What kind of ship is actually loaded with nuclear weapons? Lin Beihei never imagined that Su Yan would destroy this laboratory in this way. Su Yan handed Lin Beihei a glass of wine, and said lightly, under such bombardment, it must be difficult for the Zerg mother nest to survive. Seeing the mushroom cloud rising continuously outside the window, Lin Beihei was also stunned. This young man in front of him is really scary. My own understanding of him is still too shallow. Rumbling. After several rounds of bombing, let alone the pyramid laboratory, a huge crater appeared on the surface of the entire planet. Su Yan looked down through the Hyperion's window. The wind was blowing, and in the place where the pyramid laboratory was originally, only a huge pothole was seen. In the pothole, the traces of the former pyramid laboratory can be vaguely seen. Seeing this, Su Yan also directed the descent of the Hyperion. After coming to the ground, Su Yan asked Bai Ying to follow him, and brought several predators with him at the same time. For nothing else, Su Yan knew very well that the Zerg's survivability was far beyond ordinary people's imagination. Although several rounds of bombing have passed, ordinary creatures are no matter how powerful they are. Under nuclear bombing, it should also be turned to ashes. But Su Yan is very clear that if the Zerg is not completely eliminated, after a while, these monsters will be like weeds and the spring breeze will regenerate. In order to detect that the Zerg had been completely eliminated, Su Yan naturally brought White Warbler along. Not to mention that Bai Ying's powerful psionic energy can always protect himself, Bai Ying's hatred for the Zerg is inscribed in his blood. If there are any Zerg residues, she will find it at the first time. At this time, Su Yan and Bai Ying also came to the bottom of the pit. When he came to the bottom of the pit, he couldn't help but narrow his eyes. In the yellow sand at the bottom of the pit, a broken part of the cultivation cabin was exposed. And in the lower half of the inhabitants' training cabin, a basketball-sized Zerg brood is in it, beating like a heart. Really, the Zerg's vitality made Su Yan feel a throbbing. If you didn't come down to check it, this Zerg mother nest might continue to devour flesh and blood in the future, and eventually grow back. By that time, the entire Moke planet will be turned into a breeding ground for the Zerg. This Zerg mother nest is only a first-level mother nest, and I can't feel the existence of the Zerg will in it. It seems that this thing is just a clone of the Zerg mother nest cloned by the Dark Elves. But even if it is a replica, it has the tough vitality of the Zerg mother nest and the ability to combine other creatures with Zerg genes. For the Zerg, no one knows these monsters better than the White Warbler. After listening to Bai Ying's explanation, Su Yan also understood. It turns out that this Zerg brood is just the lowest level or a replica. But this also made Su Yan ponder, if the high-level Zerg brood also had Zerg will, what a terrifying scene would it be. With just one clone, the Dark Elves can create Zerg soldiers with alloy shells, as well as millipedes as large as chariots. If the real Zerg invaded, it would definitely be more terrifying than the current clones. Thinking of this, Su Yan also raised the laser gun in his hand. Boom, with a gunshot, the originally dying Zerg brood stopped beating directly. Immediately afterwards, the Zerg mother nest in the original state of flesh and blood began to wither rapidly as if it had lost its energy. In the end, the Zerg brood turned into ashes and fell to the ground. Ding, a special check in location was detected, Zerg Mother Nest Laboratory. Whether to check in, once refused, the special location will disappear completely. Special check in location. This is the first time Su Yan has encountered such a situation. Sign in. Ding, the sign in is successful. Congratulations on your successful acquisition of 1,000 mechanical teaching troops, recycled steel scientific research drawings. Good guy. When Su Yan saw the sign in reward, Ping Bo's heart was filled with ripples. The rewards given by this special check in location are so rich. Let's not talk about the 1,000 mechanical teaching and teaching army, this recycled steel scientific research blueprint is a good thing. Once the research on recycled steel is successful, your ship can automatically recover after leaving the battle. This saves you the hassle of having to do repairs after every battle. Coincidentally, when I signed in, I got 100 mechanical priests. 
there is definitely no problem in letting these mechanical priests study recycled steel. 1,000 mechanic teachings are already waiting to be awakened in the arsenal of the Hyperion. Recycled steel scientific research drawings have been added to the laboratory project, and research can be carried out at any time. By convention, these systems are naturally all arranged properly. After Su Yan and Bai Ying made sure that there was no Zerg left around, they also returned to the Hyperion. In the Hyperion, Lin Beihei also respected Su Yan when he saw Su Yan's return. Su Yan's achievements in annihilating the Zerg alone are enough to gain a certain position in the Sun Alliance. Even in other galaxies, all alien races will praise Su Yan if they know of Su Yan's deeds in destroying the Zerg lair. The entire Xinghai will not express resistance to a warrior who has the courage to fight against the Zerg. Later, at the request of Lin Beihei, Su Yan also sent him and the other crew members to the place where their ship was. Although their ships were severely damaged after being attacked, but after Su Yan gave them some energy ore, the ships were enough to carry them to Vulcan for repairs. And Su Yan was also depressed after sending out some energy ores. His own energy ore was relatively abundant, but after this tossing, it began to become stretched again. Captain Su Yan, you are going to the Storm Galaxy next. Lin Beihei also learned from Lin Qingyun that Su Yan was going to the Golden Galaxy. Su Yan plans to accumulate his capital in the Golden Galaxy before heading to the Inner Sea. In the Inner Sea, even a planet lord would be bombarded in minutes. Su Yan's current equipment is still too much to go to the Inner Sea, and it is better to transition in the Golden Galaxy. That's right, I plan to go to the Storm Galaxy for the next galaxy, and then continue to the Gold Galaxy. After hearing Su Yan's answer, Lin Beihei also spoke. I suggest you take a detour. Recently, a lot of interstellar pirate fleets have gathered in the Storm Galaxy. Those interstellar pirates are lunatics. After seeing your ship, they will definitely besiege you like a shark smelling blood. It was there that our fleet met, and the siege of the pirate fleet was severely damaged. After hearing this sentence, Su Yan couldn't help but light up. Interstellar pirate fleet, I am worrying about where to get some resources. Isn't this energy delivered to my door? Thinking of this, Su Yan also showed a smile. I see, it's nothing to do, let's go first. After all, Su Yan was also the engine that started the Hyperion. Watching the figure of the Hyperion slowly disappear into the sky, Lin Beihei also turned to look at their crew. It's time for us to set off again. The situation here must be reported to the Sun Alliance. In any case, the actions of the Dark Elves will be punished by the entire Xinghai. With that said, Lin Beihei also walked towards the Qingyu. Mako is definitely not the first laboratory set up by the Dark Elves, but it will definitely not be the last. Dark Elves are playing with fire. Dot dot dot. Dark Knight Galaxy, Eternal Night Star, Dark Elf Mother Star. The Dark Elf General, at this time, also received the news that the Mokuxing Laboratory was destroyed. The news reached his ears, and he couldn't help but burn with anger. Trash. A bunch of trash. Let you go and recapture the holy relic, but your entire army will be destroyed. Let you honestly study Zerg on a planet where birds don't shit, and you screwed up again. What else can you do? What makes the Dark Elf General most angry is that once the matter of Mokexing is stabbed out. By that time, the entire Xinghai will know that their Dark Elves are studying the Zerg. Once this news is exposed, the entire Dark Elves will definitely become the public enemy of Xinghai. The Dark Elf General paced back and forth in his office. Now the news may have reached the ears of other Star Sea Alliance. On the Dark Elf side, the only thing that can be prayed for is that this matter can be spread later. Their research on the Zerg is still a long way off. Thinking of this, the Dark Elf General couldn't help but feel resentful. If they had retrieved the Holy Relic, they would have been able to master the Zerg now. This race that once made the entire Xinghai fall into fear, if they can control it in the hands of their Dark Elves, they will become the most powerful race in the entire Xinghai. They need time, the entire Dark Elves need time. At this time, a cold light flashed in the eyes of the Dark Elf General. Pass my order, and find a primitive planet to put those first level Zerg Mother Nest clones on. That's right, this is the only way the Dark Elf General can think of right now. Let these Zerg Brood clones breed on planets without the power of technology. Before the will of the Zerg came, 
the Zerg produced by these Zerg Mother Hive clones only had the most primitive killing impulse. Drop the Zerg brood and cause chaos on the planet. In this case, it will definitely cause chaos, and those Star Sea Alliance will definitely be exhausted. And at this time, the Dark Elves have a lot of time. Just do it. As for the consequences of doing so, the Dark Elves didn't care. Sacrificing some humble and dirty alien races to make the Dark Elves prosper and powerful is simply a very good deal. With the order of the Dark Elf General, the ships loaded with the Zerg Lair also began to spread out from the home planet. Dot dot dot. On the other side, near the Storm Galaxy Blackstone. The Hyperion, in coordination with the White Knight, appeared here directly after breaking away from the space transition. After seeing the coordinates of the galaxy, Lin Qingyu was also stunned for a moment. Didn't we say we're going around the Storm Galaxy? This galaxy is a gathering place for interstellar pirates. After listening to Sylvia Lin's words, Su Yan also showed a wicked smile. You're not in the wrong place, what we're going to come to is the Storm Galaxy, robbery. Robbery. Robber who? Lin Qingyu looked confused, while Su Yan pointed to an interstellar pirate ship not far away. Of course those interstellar pirates. Hiss. As soon as these words came out, Lin Qingyu couldn't help but take a deep breath. She had only heard of the fleet being robbed by interstellar pirates, and she had never heard of anyone who dared to rob interstellar pirates. The interstellar pirates on the opposite side also noticed Su Yan's ship. An S-class ship with only cargo ships escorting. At this moment, the interstellar pirate opposite even thought he was dazzled. Which of the S-class ships they encountered didn't have an astonishing escort system? But now, what they encountered was indeed an unprotected S-class ship. Am I blinded? I saw an S-class ship without a frigate. Boss, you read that right, it is indeed an S-class fleet without frigates. It must be that I have returned with a full load every time recently. In order to reward me, the god of pirates hereby sends this S-class ship to me. Ha ha ha, boss, let's grab this S-class ship and go to the inner sea for development. Before he finished speaking, the S-class ship disappeared directly in place. Before the interstellar pirates could react, the Hyperion used space jump to come to their side. The laser array is on. For a time, a large number of ear lasers began to attack the ships next to them. Those interstellar pirates simply didn't have time to react. They never imagined a ship that didn't even have a frigate. To be able to space jump to their faces, and then start the fight directly. It was as if a group of thugs were walking down the street and saw a strong man wearing a big gold chain. When you were about to do it, that strong man flashed directly on your face to perform crazy oiler. These interstellar pirates were directly fooled by Su Yan. But this is far from Su Yan's means, Su Yan drives the Hyperion infinitely close to the other's flagship. On the deck of the Hyperion, several pilots driving the Titans were ready to go. As the two ships approached, the Titan mech jumped up. Boom, boom, boom. Along with it, a series of dull noises sounded above the head of the interstellar pirate. The next second, an alloy blade directly pierced the ship's armor. Before the interstellar pirates could react, the ship had been opened with a big hole, and the pilots also successfully jumped to the flagship of the interstellar pirates with the help of Titan. After seeing Su Yan's operation, Lin Qingyu couldn't close her mouth in surprise. Are you trying to rob their ship? Yes, whether it is the ships or resources of the interstellar pirates, or even their people, I want them all. To deal with these interstellar pirates, Su Yan has no intention of showing mercy. Low level ships, under the bombardment of the Hyperion, were directly turned into a pile of scrap iron. As for those high level ships, Su Yan directly used the space jump to send the Predator and the Iron Pilot to the enemy ship for a gang jump. For a time, this interstellar pirate ship fell into chaos. The roar of artillery fire, the sound of ships crashing. Against the backdrop of this vast starry sky, Su Yan plundered an entire pirate fleet with just one Hyperion. The pirates on the ship hadn't reacted yet, and when they came back to their senses, they had already been imprisoned in the prison they had built for their captives. Many prisoners in the original prison were released by Su Yan. We are, robbed, didn't expect that their interstellar pirates would be robbed one day. Even the prisoners on the pirate ships were stunned. They were originally in prison, and they had already thought about how to think about when their family asked for a ransom. As a result, 
a group of iron pilots suddenly rushed in and knocked out all the interstellar pirates. One C-class flagship and five F-class ships. Tisk, these pirates seemed to have just finished their robbery, and there were still a lot of supplies and prisoners on board. Qingyu, go and move the supplies on board to our Hyperion. As for the prisoners, give them an escape spaceship and let them escape by themselves. After hearing these words, Lin Qingyu blinked and looked at the looted interstellar pirate ships. This is the first time he has seen that someone dares to rob the ship of the interstellar pirate. However, after going through so many things along the way with Su Yan, this man is always able to do something unexpected. When Lin Qingyu thought of this, she also pretended to be serious and said, Received. Captain. After all, Lin Qingyu also brought a few predator to carry supplies. Seeing Lin Qingyu's serious expression, Su Yan couldn't help laughing. This girl is really a little cute, and she didn't waste her time to keep her on her ship. Afterwards, Su Yan commanded the pilots to drive the ships and dock the ships of these plundered interstellar pirates to the nearest Black Rock Star. The entire battle took only an hour, and Su Yan took down the interstellar pirate force with one C-class flagship and five F-class ships. The Hyperion also landed on Blackstone, and Su Yan received a notification from the system the moment he set foot on Blackstone. Check-in location detected. Blackstone Star. Do you sign in? Sign in. Ding, congratulations on your successful acquisition. 10B class, Valkyrie, heavy fireships. Um, good guy, the system is quite generous this time, and actually allocated 10 fire frigates to himself. Valkyrie, heavy fireship, this ship has extremely terrifying firepower and armor. The only fly in the ointment is its speed, which is very weak because of the thick armor. Although it is rated as a B-class ship, its firepower is enough to make many A-class ships frightened. The Valkyrie heavy firepower ship is comparable to the flat-headed brother among the ships. Once you are targeted by it, it will be either your death or my death. Su Yan also asked the system where the ship was. 10. Valkyrie, heavy fire ships have been arranged somewhere in Blackstone and can be called to support at any time. Somewhere on Blackrock, Su Yan touched his chin, not intending to summon these Valkyries now. When they are not used yet, when the right time comes, these Valkyrie fireboats will exert their greatest use. After signing in, Su Yan also came to the ship of the interstellar pirates and came to their prison. At this moment, all the interstellar pirates gathered in the prison, and their hearts were also uneasy. When did the storm galaxy come to such a bad thing? You ask me, who do I ask? Boss, what will we do next? In my case, I would arrest people and ask their families for ransom. But the point is, if Timo and the others have relatives, what are they doing as interstellar pirates? Those who do interstellar pirates are all fatherless orphans. Otherwise, why would they do such a cruel thing? Just then, the prison door was opened. A young man walked in, but the man looked at them as if he were looking at pigs waiting to be slaughtered. Feeling Su Yan's gaze, several grumpy interstellar pirates were also angry. Look at what, kill it or cut it as you please, Lousy will die. Hearing this sentence, Su Yan frowned slightly. Afterwards, Su Yan showed a smile on the corner of his mouth and clapped his hands. Very good, with backbone. Come here, drag the most fierce ones to the laboratory to make transformation materials for the mechanical priests. At this time, there was a sullen laughter from Su Yan's back. Lord Captain, don't bother you to do it yourself, I have already come in person. Hearing this voice, I saw a semi-mechanized mechanical priest walking in. Behind him, several mechanical prosthetics hovered behind him like tentacles. Seeing the mechanical priest like this, a few cowardly interstellar pirates were immediately scared to pee. Is this thing that looks like a ghost or a ghost, is it a creature or a machine? But before they could reflect, the mechanical priest opened the prison door and directly grabbed a few interstellar pirates who had just made a rude speech using mechanical prostheses. The flesh and blood are weak, the machinery is soaring, join me in the glorious evolution. The mechanical priest let out a grin, as if he was excited to get a brand new guinea pig. A few interstellar pirates suddenly sweated on their backs, and then began to struggle frantically. Don't, let me down, they would rather die than be transformed into a monster. But now, they have no choice. 
The mechanical prosthesis of the mechanical priest suddenly ejected a needle, and the anesthetic was injected directly into the bodies of the interstellar pirates. The interstellar pirate who was still alive and kicking just now was paralyzed in the next second, like a ragdoll being held in the palm of his hand by a mechanical prosthesis. After other interstellar pirates saw this scene, they were even more frightened. Just by seeing the semi-mechanical body of the mechanical priest, they can imagine what kind of inhuman treatment these interstellar pirates will suffer next. And Su Yan saw that fear had filled their faces, and also spoke. I need information, a lot of information, if you can provide me with valuable information, maybe I will let you go. A person who has no value has only one fate. My research projects require a lot of guinea pigs. Hearing this sentence, the mechanical priest also rubbed his hands excitedly. If you can transform all these people, your experiment may be a step closer. After hearing Su Yan's words, those interstellar pirates were like drowning people grabbing a life-saving straw. All the interstellar pirates crowded at the door of the cell, frantically pouring out the information they knew. And Su Yan also listened patiently, and obtained important information that he knew from a lot of information. The first is the division of forces in the Storm Galaxy. The Storm Galaxy is a huge galaxy. There are three stars in the Storm Galaxy, and in the orbits of the three stars, there are eight planets. One of the largest planets is called, Giant Star. Giant Star is ten times the size of Blue Star, and it is also a planet with a more suitable climate. Therefore, the interstellar pirates now entrenched on the Giant Star are the most powerful pirate fleets in the Storm Galaxy. There are currently three fleets entrenched on the giant star. Wonkwan Pirates, Fleet Size, 1A Class Flagship, 2B Class Ships, and 20E Class Firepower Ships. The Pirate Pirate Group, Fleet Size, 1A Class Flagship, 5B Class Ships, and 10E Class Firepower Ships. Mad Shark Pirates, Fleet Size, 1S Class Flagship, 10A Class Firepower Fleets, and 50C Class Firepower Fleets. I have to say that Storm Galaxy is now a crouching tiger, hidden dragon. The Wonkwan Pirates Group and the Evil Thieves Pirates Group, these two interstellar pirate groups are among the most powerful pirate groups in the outer seas. Moreover, they also have their own planetary territory. Being able to have their own planetary territory, and they have not been destroyed by the Alliance so far, is enough to show their strength. However, when Su Yan saw the size of the fleet of the last Crazy Shark Pirates, he almost spat out a mouthful of old blood. Crazy Shark Pirates, isn't this the Crazy Shark Pirates known as the Ten Kings of the Inner Sea? How did the interstellar pirates in the Inner Sea come to the Outer Sea? Moreover, if Su Yan guessed correctly, this S-class ship should be the flagship of the Shark Pirates, Raging Waves. It is rumored that this furious sea and raging tide is an extremely strange ship, with life. As for whether the rumor is true or not, Su Yan can't verify it either. After all, in the inner sea, the common sense of the outer sea cannot be applied at all. Now, what Su Yan is worried about is whether his actions will attract the attention of the crazy shark pirates. How many chances do you have to escape if you face the shark pirates? The Hyperion has the powerful function of space transition. If it escapes, it should not be a problem. Su Yan groped his chin, and the Heavenly King level forces in the inner sea came to the outer sea, which was definitely not normal. Did Storm Galaxy have something they wanted? At this time, Su Yan didn't know that his actions had already reached the ears of the crazy shark pirates. On the giant star, a ship is moored in a huge lake at the moment. Other ships are berthed on land, but the furious sea and raging waves is different. It can be moored on the water without sinking. Moreover, when in the water, the furious sea and raging waves can absorb water and automatically decompose it into hydrogen and then synthesize energy by itself. It is such a magical ship, but at this moment it is moored in the lake of giant star. In the bridge, several pirate crew members scratched their heads. First mate, boss, will it be dangerous for her to go out alone? Dangerous, who do you mean? The enemy, don't worry, although the captain is a bit weird, she won't do anything like bullying the garbage off the sea. The crew next to him was stunned for a moment. What he wanted to say was whether their captain would be in danger. But on second thought, their captain is a chinicist with 10,000 terrifying psionics. In the outer seas, it is rare for a chinicist to appear. 
A shinicist with 10,000 psionic energy points is still a superhuman existence in the eyes of mortals. The first mate of the Furious Sea and Furious Tide also raised Erlang's legs and said casually, Our task now is to recharge our batteries and prepare for the next battle. But I heard that there has been a hard stubble in the Storm Galaxy recently. Those guys from the Wonkwan Pirates are going to touch them. If the newcomer wins the Wonkwan Pirates, we might be able to include him in our crazy shark pirates. Dot dot dot. In the outer space of Blackstone Star, a giant battleship made of brass alloy escaped the state of sub-light flight. Immediately afterwards, several ships appeared around him. And this giant warship is the flagship of the Wonkwan pirates, Wonkwan. Wonkwan was converted from a warship, and its warship was equipped with a giant plasma cannon. This artillery was also used as a hell send-off artillery by the Wonkwan pirates. Once the plasma cannon is activated, all fleets will be horrified when they see it. Among the flagships of the Wonkwan, a skeleton with blue flames was sitting in the center of the bridge and strategizing. And this blue flame skeleton is the captain of the Wonkwan pirates. According to rumors, he was originally an alien race with flesh. But after going through a warp voyage, he turned into this ghost. However, the captain of the Wonkwan is proud of this, because although he lost his physical body, he became a shinicist. His psionic energy is the fire of the Yellow Springs that can ignite the soul, and because of this, he is called the Yellow Spring Death God by the world. The skeleton man, the captain of the Yellow Spring, looked at the black stone star in front of him, and the fire of the soul in his eyes swayed for a while. I heard that this new guy has an S-class ship. Only this S-class ship can rob a pirate fleet. It seems that the captain of this ship is also interesting. However, starting from today, this S-class ship will become the latest flagship of my lord. After all, the skeleton man waved his hand, and his crew immediately understood. The entire fleet rushed into the atmosphere of Black Rock Star mightily. And Su Yan, who was repairing on the ground, also saw the Wonkwan pirate's fleet that was slowly descending in the atmosphere for the first time. Su Yan picked up a high-powered telescope, and through the telescope he could see the signs on the ship clearly. Wonkwan pirates, it came quite fast. Su Yan had long anticipated that his flamboyant actions would definitely attract the attention of the large pirate groups on Titan. Unexpectedly, the first to follow was the Wonkwan pirates. Su Yan put down the high-powered telescope in his hand, and a confident smile appeared on his face. As long as it wasn't the crazy shark pirates, I had the confidence to eat it. What's more, on the Black Stone Star, he has already set up a net of heaven and earth. It's time to close the net. Just when Su Yan was about to enter the Hyperion to prepare for the battle, Lin Qingyu hurried over. Su Yan, no good. I caught a strange thing. Weird stuff. Su Yan looked at Lin Qingyu a little strangely. I saw Lin Qingyu put down the fishing rod in his hand and then put down the water tank behind him. After putting down the water tank, there was a small blue fish swimming in it. What's so special about a fish? But next, Lin Qingyu showed Su Yan a wave. I saw that she took out a juice cocktail and poured the juice cocktail into the water tank. The little fish, who was still lazy at first, instantly became excited. I saw that it absorbed all the drinks with lightning speed, and then patted the belly very humanely. Su Yan was stunned when she saw this scene. This little fish is indeed a bit strange. Could it be a brand new intelligent life born on the Black Rock Star? At this time, Lin Qingyu was also like a child who got a new toy. Can we keep it on the boat? Lin Qingyu stared at Su Yan with big watery eyes. And Su Yan also scratched his head. As you like, hurry up and get on the boat. Now that the Wonkwan pirate fleet is attacking, Su Yan has no time to convince Lin Qingyu. It's just a wise little fish, and it's okay to throw it on a boat. At that time, even if it becomes an alien, the predators and pilots on board are also not vegetarians. Thinking of this, Su Yan also asked Lin Qingyu to board the Hyperion with this strange little fish. After entering the Hyperion, Su Yan also entered the bridge decisively. Pulling out the operation interface, Su Yan began to operate the Hyperion to lift off. With the roar of an engine, the Hyperion slowly lifted into the air. At this time, the Wangquan in the atmosphere obviously found the trace of the Hyperion. After all, with such a huge body of the Hyperion, it is difficult even if you don't want to notice it. Boss, we saw that ship. 
Hearing this sentence, the fire of the soul in the eyes of the skeleton man also swayed. Later, the skeleton man also said, Initiate a video communication, if this guy is willing to surrender, I can bring him under my command. There is only one ship on the opposite side, and they have as many as 20 firepower ships alone. The artillery fire alone is enough to blast it into slag, as long as the opponent knows a little bit about the situation, they will not be stubbornly resisting. Thinking of this, the skeleton man also instructed his subordinates to send a video communication to Su Yan's Hyperion. Ding, Wang Quan is sending a video communication signal, do you receive it? Su Yan also smiled faintly when he saw this newsletter application pop up. Connect. After the application was approved, the projected image of the skeleton man also appeared in Su Yan's communication interface. And the image of Su Yan also appeared on the side of the skeleton man. When the two sides saw each other, they couldn't help but be slightly taken aback. Su Yan didn't expect that the captain of the Wangquan pirate fleet was actually a skull. And the skeleton man on the opposite side did not expect that the other side was actually a human being, and he was so young. Boy, your ship is very good, our Wangquan pirates have taken a fancy to your ship. If you are willing to surrender now, I can arrange you into my pirate group. Of course, if you refuse, the twenty fire ships of my fleet will immediately target you. Choose one, life or death. The skeleton man opposite was very arrogant, as if he had already settled on Su Yan. What if it's an S-class ship? How long can it last under the repeated bombardment of twenty fire ships? And Su Yan looked at the skeleton man in front of him and laughed lightly. Are you so sure you can eat me? The skeleton man on the opposite side sneered, and the fire of the soul in his eyes flickered. Congratulations, you lost a chance to survive. Congratulations too, you just lost your best chance to attack me. Valkyrie, attack, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. With the roar of an engine, the Valkyrie heavy fire ship rose into the air. They have long been hidden in the hills under the pirate fleet, which allows them to cut into the battlefield as soon as possible. And this terrain is also a net that Su Yan specially prepared for them. The complex and intricate terrain made it impossible for these Wangquan pirate groups to discover the Valkyrie hidden in it for the first time. Seeing these Valkyrie heavy fireships soaring into the air, the skeletons were instantly furious. What's the situation? Didn't you say that this guy doesn't have a frigate at all? For a time, the skeleton man felt as if he had been deceived. The information I received, as mentioned above, this S-class ship does not have any frigate establishment. If there is no frigate organization, what is the matter with these ten ships? Moreover, these ten ships are actually B-class ships, and they are all firepower ships. This time, the skeleton man suddenly understood. I've been fooled. In the communication panel, Su Yan crossed his fingers and a faint smile appeared on his face. It's time to end. As soon as these words came out, the communication interface was directly hung up. In the next second, 10 B-class Valkyrie fireboats aimed at the 20 E-class firepower ships. Fire. For a time, the eight-door episode number rockets on both sides of the Valkyrie exploded directly. The sky-filled rockets landed directly on those fire ships. Immediately afterwards, the rocket exploded, and the endless fire directly devoured all the fire ships. The debris erupted from the rocket even affected the surrounding fire ships. A huge cloud of flames covered the entire Blackstone sky. Su Yan sat in the Hyperion, admiring the deadly and gorgeous fire clouds. At this moment, the first fire ship slowly fell from the fire cloud. Then, the second, the third, the fourth. Boom. An artillery sound came from the fire cloud, and an artillery shot penetrated the fire cloud and hit the Valkyrie directly. With the fire rushing up, the flame directly covered the entire Valkyrie's body. But when the flames dissipated, the dying cannon didn't even penetrate the Valkyrie's armor. The second round of episodes rocket broke out. Rumbling. In the sky, a large number of fire ships fell. The skeleton man sitting in the flagship of the Yellow Spring stood up directly, and the fire of the soul exploded all over his body. What are you still doing? Attack. Do you have to watch all my fleets be beaten before you open fire? The skeleton man was furious, so much effort. He has already lost half of his ships. That's what you've worked hard for all your life. That human monkey, I must make him pay. Rumbling. The huge hull of the Wangquan began to move. 
And Su Yan glanced at the Wang Quan, opened the command panel, and it was time to start the final battle. Warning. Ship is being locked. The Hyperion's ship warning pops up. Su Yan watched as the giant artillery below the Wang Quan on the opposite side burst into flames. As long as he is not blind, normal people can understand that the Wang Quan is planning to blow up Su Yan's Hyperion first. The fall of the flagship is a huge blow to the morale of the entire fleet. But obviously, Su Yan also thought of this. Pulling open the control panel, Su Yan started to activate the space transition system. Boom! With a loud bang, the giant artillery of the Wang Quan roared. In the battlefield, the deafening sound of artillery sounded instantly. I saw a blue laser attacking the Hyperion directly. The skeleton man was overjoyed when he saw that the blue laser was about to hit the Hyperion. Wang Quan's plasma artillery has the powerful power to penetrate the armor of S-class ships. At such a close distance, hit the opponent directly. Now, what if it's an S-class ship? If you shoot it down, you will still be turned into scrap metal. When thinking of this, the fire of the soul on the skeleton man swayed for a while. But at this moment, under the watchful eyes of the public, the Hyperion disappeared directly in place. Seeing this scene, the skeleton man was stunned. Not only it, but even the interstellar pirates on the Wang Quan were stunned. What's the situation? Why did the opposite ship disappear out of thin air? Such a huge ship body disappeared in their eyes in an instant. Even on radar, its existence cannot be observed. At this moment, the skeleton man panicked. What method did that human use, how could such a huge fleet suddenly disappear? But the next second, the Hyperion's reaction appeared on the radar again. Boss, that ship has appeared again. What, where is it now? The skeleton man asked quickly, but when he learned the location of the Hyperion, he couldn't help but feel tight. Now, that ship, just behind us. As soon as these words came out, all the interstellar pirates felt chills behind their backs. Because they know exactly what it means when an enemy flagship appears behind you during combat. Su Yan sat in the Hyperion, the corners of his mouth raised slightly. The Yamato cannon in front of the Hyperion is also ready to go at this moment. Yamato cannon. Emission. Boom. A huge beam of light directly bombarded the armor of Wang Quan. Almost instantly, Wang Quan's armor was directly penetrated. The terrifying energy directly penetrated the body of Wang Quan, and the violent energy raged directly on the whole body of the ship. Rumbling, a lot of flames spewed out from the body of Wang Quan. Under the flames, the Wang Quan began to slowly fall towards the ground. At this time, the Valkyrie also dealt with other ships one after another. Under the attack of 10 B-class firepower ships, these ordinary ships had no power to fight back. Even if they formed a counterattack, Facing the Valkyrie's heavy armor, their attack was like a ticklish, weak and weak. Next, it's time for Su Yan's favorite scavenger hunt. The Hyperion slowly landed next to the Yellow Spring. To be on the safe side, Su Yan asked several predators and pilots to search and rescue the survivors in the Wang Quan. Not long after, the remaining surviving interstellar pirates were also rescued from the fire by the predator. Those interstellar pirates thought they were saved but they did not know that what awaited them was a purgatory that was even worse than death. The rest, I took it to the laboratory and changed it for the mechanical priest. After hearing these words, the mechanical priest who had been waiting for a long time beside Su Yan was also very excited. At this time, Bai Ying also got off the ship and stood silently in front of Su Yan. After seeing Bai Ying appear, Su Yan also looked at the Wang Quan not far away. Among the yellow springs, the last survivor emerged from a pile of rubble. Su Yan's eyes narrowed slightly, and sure enough, the captain of the other party was not dead. Even some interstellar pirates survived, if he didn't, Su Yan would be the first to not believe it. If you die, you need to see the corpse. Su Yan will not give up any chance to make up for the knife until he sees the corpse of the opposing captain. Looks like you lost. In terms of words, Su Yan naturally mercilessly stabbed the skeleton man in the heart. The fire of the soul on the skeleton man is dying like a candle in the wind at this moment. But at this moment, the fire of the soul on the skeleton man suddenly increased. The skeleton man let out a roar, even if you die, I will drag you to bury you. The skeleton man who lost everything also directly used the spiritual energy in his body. 
Even if he dies, he will be buried with this hateful guy in front of him. Moreover, he is confident that his death-defying counterattack will definitely succeed. Unless the opponent is also a shinicist, it is absolutely impossible to block his psionic attack. The terrifying soul fire turned into a cannonball and hit Su Yan directly. But at this moment, this mass of soul fire was suspended in the air. Bai Ying next to Su Yan raised a finger and suspended the flame in the air with just a trace of psychic energy. Seeing this scene, the skeleton man was stunned. Psyker, Su Yan looked at the throbbing flames, secretly thankful that she had brought Bai Ying over in advance. Otherwise, just based on his current identity, he really might not be able to block this attack. It seems that he needs to find a way to become a shinicist as soon as possible. After entering the inner sea, the frequency of seeing shinicists will definitely increase greatly. If there is no psionic power, after seeing this kind of shinicist, it is really difficult to defend without Bai Ying. In the next second, Bai Ying clenched one hand tightly. The skeleton man suddenly felt a powerful thought force coming from his surroundings. Snapped. Before the skeleton man could react, the powerful thought force directly crushed it into powder. The skeleton man probably never thought that there was such a powerful shinicist beside Su Yan. After solving the skeleton man, Su Yan also ordered other soldiers to search for the remaining resources in the Wangquan. Just then, a roar came from the sky. Su Yan frowned slightly and couldn't help but look up at the sky. I saw that in the atmosphere, an extremely large fleet was slowly descending. After seeing this fleet, Su Yan couldn't help frowning slightly. With such a huge fleet, Su Yan can judge the identity of this fleet just from the number of fleets. The Inner Sea Heavenly King level forces, the crazy shark pirates. Su Yan couldn't help but feel nervous. If these guys are here to take advantage of the fishermen, they can only give up these resources. The current self is absolutely impossible to win against the Heavenly King level forces in Inner Shanghai. Don't worry, these guys are here for me. Hearing this voice, Su Yan also turned to look behind him. When his eyes fell on the hatchway of the Hyperion, I saw a blue-haired woman in a blue combat uniform standing there. However, when Su Yan saw her fangs like sharp teeth, she understood. The guy in front of him is not a human race, and her skin is fairer than humans. Su Yan did not act rashly, because he felt that there was a faint psychic fluctuation in the woman who appeared suddenly. The other party is also a shinicist. Su Yan looked at the blue-haired woman in front of her, and the blue-haired woman also walked to Su Yan. Seeing the blue-haired girl approaching, Bai Ying's whole body also set off a wave of spiritual energy. After feeling Bai Ying's psychic power, the blue-haired woman stopped. Afterwards, the blue-haired woman stood in front of Su Yan with a smile. Don't worry, I have no ill will towards you. If I want to solve you, the ships above your heads are enough to bombard you hundreds of times. As soon as these words came out, it also indirectly explained the identity of this blue-haired woman. The blue-haired woman smiled and then looked at Su Yan. Introduce myself, I am the boss of the crazy shark pirates, Haley's from the Mermaid Clan. The boss of the shark pirates, Harris of the Mermaid Clan. After Su Yan kept the name silently in his heart, he also asked the question he cared about the most. Why are you on my ship? She had apparently disembarked from the Hyperion. Su Yan has strengthened the internal security capabilities of the Hyperion after Lim Qingyu's smuggling incident. Even if someone sneaks into the Hyperion, the predators and pilots patrolling back and forth will make them invisible. But Haley's clearly came out of the Hyperion. This shows that she doesn't know when she boarded her ship. Thinking of this, Su Yan also frowned. If she had done it to herself on the ship at the time, she probably wouldn't be standing here now. And Haley's also smiled faintly when she saw Su Yan who frowned slightly. We mermaids can switch back and forth between sea creatures and human forms. Remember the little blue fish you caught earlier? After such a reminder, Su Yan suddenly remembered. Lin Qingyu said before that she caught a strange thing. That thing is a little blue fish. How is this possible? How can such a small fish become an adult-sized creature? This unscientific. And Haley's seemed to see Su Yan's confusion. She said very calmly, Psionic power is such a power, it will break all the rules you know. If the shinicist beside you was there at that time, I might not have the chance to enter your ship. I have to say, the drinks on your ship are good, and I'm very satisfied. 
Saying that, Haley's also pulled out a wine glass like a conjuration. Su Yan looked at Bai Ying and then at Haley's. At this moment, he was even more determined to activate the spiritual energy in his heart. Otherwise, if I encounter a Shinicist in the future, I guess I don't know how to die. At this time, the flagship of the crazy shark pirate's Wrath of the Seas also landed not far away. Haley's waved her hand. I originally planned to bring you under my command. But after seeing the battle between you and the Wonkwan pirates, I don't think your achievements will be lower than mine in the future. Afterwards, Haley's threw a star compass at Su Yan. So, before I leave, let me tell you something, the legendary ship Fearless Victory is about to reappear. The coordinates where it appears are in this Shanghai compass. Whether you want to get involved is entirely up to you. This news is my reward for inviting me to drink. After all, Haley's also waved her hand and returned to the Furious Sea. Watching the wrath of the Furious Sea gradually lift off, Su Yan also looked at the Shanghai compass in his hand. Dreadnought Victory, I have heard of this legendary ship. Rumor has it that he is the flagship of a certain planet lord, a genuine S-class ship. But for some reason, it disappeared in a galaxy in the outer sea. Now that it has resurfaced, it is no wonder that these interstellar pirates are beginning to gather in the storm galaxy. It turned out to be for this legendary ship. Su Yan opened the Shanghai compass, and the coordinates displayed on it were not far from him. Coincidentally, this coordinate is right between the gold and storm galaxies. At that time, there will definitely be many forces from the Golden Galaxy to compete. Su Yan secretly thought to himself, just go and visit when the time comes. The Shark Pirates are all eyeing the Fearless Victory ship, indicating that other forces will definitely go to compete for it. His wings are not yet full, so it's better not to get involved too deeply. Once involved in the huge vortex, if the strength is not enough, it can only end in a shattered end. Then, Su Yan looked at Bai Ying. Bai Ying, how can I become a Shinicist? Bai Ying glanced at Su Yan and answered truthfully. There are three ways to become a Shinicist. The first way is to have the bloodline of some psionic races. After having the bloodline of a certain psionic race, you can freely use psionic energy. Just like Bai Ying and Haley's, both of their races are races that can skillfully use psionic energy. Therefore, they can use psionic power from birth. The second way is to obtain psionic power by trading with some creatures in the subspace and paying some price. The skeletons of the Wonkwan pirate fleet are such shinicists. He lost his physical body, but at the same time he gained psychic power. But these two methods are useless to Su Yan. There is only a third way, and that is to obtain a psionic seed. The psionic energy seed can be fused with the physical body and become the energy core of psionic energy, as long as one has a psionic energy seed. Su Yan can become a shinicist and use psionic power freely. But psionic seeds are extremely rare, even the lowest level F level psionic seeds. It can be sold for hundreds of millions of stars on the black market. Either way is very difficult, Su Yan also sighed. It seems that this can only happen naturally. The most urgent task is to sell the ships of the Wonkwan pirate fleet and other pirate ships and exchange them for star coins. Otherwise, throw it here, and it will eventually become a pile of scrap metal. Waste is not Su Yan's personality. Gold Galaxy, Financial Star, Gimhai Chamber of Commerce. The chairman of the Chamber of Commerce, who had been sleepy at first, Jin Ron lost all sleep after receiving a phone call. What, someone's selling ships? How much? Nearly 30 ships. In the storm system, what the hell are you talking about? Even in the warp you have to get your stuff back. After hanging up the phone, Ron Kim rubbed his hands excitedly. Get rich, someone just called and said that they would sell 30 ships to them. There is actually an A-class ship among them. An A-class ship, in the open sea area, A-class ships are basically the top configuration. No financial resources, no means, want to get an A-class ship. There are no doors. As for Kim Ron, did he ever suspect that someone was deliberately fixing them? What are you kidding? Behind their Jene Chamber of Commerce is the Jin clan. Anyone who dares to target them, the Jene Chamber of Commerce, must be careful not to provoke the Jin clan. In this golden galaxy, there is a total of one star and five planets. And it is such a galaxy, but it has become the largest trading galaxy in the entire outer sea. In the golden galaxy, 
there are all kinds of gold diggers, and there are also hundreds of millions of chambers of commerce. In the outer sea area, as long as there is money, there is nothing that cannot be bought in the Golden Galaxy. The Golden Galaxy holds the huge assets of hundreds of millions of galaxies in the outer sea. And behind all this, it is related to the Jin clan, the family of financial star. The ancestors of the Jin clan have been operating in the Golden Galaxy for thousands of years, making the Golden Galaxy a trading center in the open sea. Up to now, although the Jin clan is only a family, the wealth in its hands is enough to subvert a star sea empire. Any item, as long as you put a price on it, the Jin clan can buy it. Rumor has it that there is currently an S-class ship in the Jin clan's territory. However, the Jin clan has not been attacked for a long time, even if someone can't think of it and wants to attack the Golden Galaxy. As long as the Jin clan waved a big hand, a large number of mercenaries swarmed. Even if there are ships in the Jin clan's territory, it is estimated that they are used as exhibits. Su Yan took into account the strength of the Gimhai Chamber of Commerce and chose to call the Gimhai Chamber of Commerce and ask them to recover the ships under his command. If it was another Chamber of Commerce, it was estimated that they were robbed by the interstellar pirate fleet on the way. He glanced at Lin Qingyu who was playing arcade next to him with a serious face. Su Yan couldn't help but sigh that this girl was still a senior VIP member of the Gimhai Chamber of Commerce. How many star coins did she spend at the Jinhai Chamber of Commerce, and she would get the status of a senior VIP member? Senior VIP members have their own personal customer service. As long as you make an interstellar call, Jinhai Chamber of Commerce will definitely have a service staff to answer your call. Even if you buy something. Even if you're on a planet where birds don't shit, and you're in full swing with the Zerg. The Gimhai Chamber of Commerce will be airdropped directly in front of you. This service can be said to be omnipresent, but relatively, the status of this senior VIP member is not so easy to obtain. Moreover, according to Lin Qingyu, a little rich woman, among the senior VIP members, there are also supreme VIP members. This supreme VIP member can not only see the Jin clan, but if you are in danger, the mercenaries under the Jin clan will quickly drop by your side. Su Yan couldn't help but sigh, the power of capital is really terrifying. Dot dot dot, near the storm galaxy Blackrock, along with a flash, a huge giant A-class cargo ship appeared. When this giant A-class cargo ship appeared in the outer space of Blackstone, even standing on the surface of Blackstone could clearly see this behemoth. The black and thick shell, the huge body can accommodate a whole fleet, and hundreds of ships enter it. Su Yan couldn't help but sigh that her Hyperion was insignificant compared to this giant cargo ship. The A-class cargo ship in front of me was dispatched by the Gimhai Chamber of Commerce and was responsible for receiving the large transport cargo ships of the ships. Although this cargo ship is huge, its huge stature has been exchanged for an extremely slow speed and extremely weak armor. In the eyes of interstellar pirates, these large cargo ships are equivalent to a moving target. But around the large cargo ship, powerful frigates are patrolling. The person in charge of the Gimhai Chamber of Commerce sits on the bridge of a large cargo ship. He said very confidently, Oh, show the communication signal of our Jinhai Chamber of Commerce, I want to see which interstellar pirate without long eyes dares to come over. But the next second, the person in charge of the Jinhai Chamber of Commerce saw the crazy shark pirates not far away. Suddenly, he was so frightened that he slumped on the ground. Crazy, crazy shark pirates, how could such a heavenly king level force in the inner sea appear here? The Jinhai Chamber of Commerce fleet, which was still in high spirits, suddenly went out. Those were the heavenly king level forces in the inner sea, even if the crazy shark pirates robbed them. The Jin clan will not choose to continue to pursue it. Just kidding, no matter how powerful the Jin clan is, it is limited to the outer seas. But the crazy shark pirates are one of the best forces in the inner sea. At this time, the person in charge of the Jinhai Chamber of Commerce also immediately contacted the crazy shark pirates. At this time, taking the initiative to show goodwill will quell the anger of the crazy shark pirates. If they can pay some protection fees and leave, it is undoubtedly cost-effective for them. After all, no matter how important money is, it is not as important as their lives. After connecting to the communication, the person in charge of the Gimhai Chamber of Commerce also rubbed his hands. 
My lords, we didn't know this was the territory of the crazy shark pirates, we'll leave right away. Please raise your hands high, Arjuna Chamber of Commerce is willing to pay 100 million star coins as compensation for disturbing you. Our fleet is also here to transport goods. There is nothing on the ship. If you guys go home empty-handed, won't you lose your interest? Looking at the humble attitude of the person in charge of the Gimhai Chamber of Commerce. Haley's sat on the main seat of the bridge and looked at the communication panel with interest. Cargo. It seems that Su Yan is planning to sell the ship of the Wangquan pirates. This kid is really diligent and thrifty. These ships are worth a lot of money. Having said that, Haley's also waved her hand. I'm happy today, I don't have the intention to rob for the time being, let them go. By the way, tell the guys from the Gimhai Chamber of Commerce, Su Yan, I'll cover it. If they dare to lower the price at will, I have specified that they will not be able to get out of the Storm Galaxy. As for Su Yan, Haley's is also very fond of him. She was sure that they would meet again in the inner sea in the future. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.